Hello. I pressed play on my Spotify and it made a weird noise. Hi everyone! <laughs> um, me and my creature are here. This time she's on my desk. So we'll see how that goes. I may have to help her off the desk soon. <laughs> but she wanted to be up here, so she's up here. Um, yeah. She just had some more meds about 10 minutes ago as well. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> She's probably gonna want to take a, a little nap. She is wearing a yellow flower around her neck today. She is like a little sunflower. Um, our update from today is that she's been doing a lot better today. Um, we just got uh, extra medication. Uh oh, are you gonna go? D oh my god, can I put you down? Ooh. Okay, she did it. <laughs> we just got extra medication. Um, she's going up. There, see, that was smart. She used her stairs. That's acceptable behavior. <laughs> um, but anyway, we, she... I'll get into it, but basically I called the vet this morning and I was like, I think she's in pain, I need more meds. Um, so I gave her... She's on... What is it called? I don't remember the name of the real pain medication, but it's like a heavier one. Um, and she's also on gabapentin now. I just gave her the gabap gabapentin like 10 minutes ago as like a bridge between them because she's supposed to have meds every 12 hours but the past two days the last like three hours before her next dose i knew that she was in pain because she was like kind of getting aggressive which is not normal for her um and so i think she was like acting out because she was hurting and so i um got her more medication to like help the in between so Anyway, hopefully she's feeling a bit better today <laughs> um, because she's got some more meds to help tide her over until tonight now. Um, she also is wearing, oh, that's a bad cat cam location. She's wearing a flower today. Um, we're back in the soft cone. Soft cone didn't work the first day. It's worked very well today. <laughs> I don't know. She's, she's changing her mind about what she wants and that's acceptable. You're allowed to have different opinions. You do, oops, where's my game? You can do whatever you want, Snap. <laughs> You can do whatever you want, whatever works best for you will will operate according to your terms. Um, but soft comb was a no-go for her before, now it's fine. <laughs> now it's fine, so. <laughs> the, the pillow, you would expect that to be better than the plastic cone. However, the kittens hated that thing. Hated it. And Snap did not want that thing near her on day one. So the plastic cone went really well yesterday. Um, but... Today, not so much. <laughs> I think this is better. So I'm glad that she's decided that she thinks it's better too. Because it is better. <laughs> but whatever, snap. Um, but anyway, she's, she's doing her best. She'll probably just sit there and sleep the entire stream. So um, that's not bad though. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> you, this is so much more comfortable though because she can like rest her head on it and stuff. Um, so it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Am I handling everything okay? Um, no. <laughs> I'm actually not thriving. The past two nights, last night and the night before, have been really rough. I mentioned it, but like, um, when the meds were wearing off at night and it like wasn't time for her next dose yet, she was getting quite aggressive. <laughs> Um, and that was, uh, something that I'm really not used to from her. Obviously she was in pain, so like that's what's causing it, but, um, yeah, I've never experienced that from her, uh, and, and it was, I think, very hard on us both. <laughs> so, um, but I don't blame her. She's been through so much, like she's literally having the worst days of her entire life, you know, um, but... Yeah, now we have extra medication, so we should be better. My dad went and picked it up for me today, too, because I was like, I literally cannot leave her. <laughs> she has to be, like, nonstop supervised. That's the thing. It's like, um, yesterday, she was like, like, she scratched me completely randomly out of nowhere. I was sitting on the couch with her. She, like, curls up my arm on the couch every night. We were just sitting there. She got really upset and scratched me randomly and then sat back down and curled up my arm. I didn't even touch you. I don't know what, I don't understand what happened. But she like randomly attacked me and then was like, okay, I'm good again. And then curls up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but she's just in pain, you know? So it's been, ah, it's been a rough couple of days because I, I just want to do everything I can to help her and like, I don't know how to help her. I also don't know how to like hold her and stuff because she has, you can't see it from this side because it's like facing the couch, but the, the incision is like this big. 
I mean, it's like it's like the size of her. Like it's huge. The the cut that she has on her. So. <sighs> <laughs> um, she's getting her stitches out in two weeks. We have to wear a cone for two weeks, um, and it'll be fine. But it's just, she's having a rough couple days. <laughs> um, but it'll be getting better. It will just, it's all up from here. We just can't really tell her that yet. So, <laughs> why so big? Um, because with the, because we knew that she had this cancer in her leg, um, the vet, they, they try to take as much as they can in case it has spread further, right? Because you wanna make sure that you've gotten all of it because worst case scenario is you have to go back and operate again, right? Um, and so they they try and be certain that you have gotten all of it. So it results in tiny lump, big cut. <laughs> um, they, they have like big wide margins to make sure, you know? They do it on people too. Um, it just feels very, because she is so little, like <laughs> it's, I mean, a, a huge percentage of her body is, is cut now because of it, you know? Um, oh, the kittens don't mind Pippa. Um, I don't have to keep them separated because they kind of leave her alone as it is. She's established boundaries very successfully prior to this. So the kittens don't mess with her. <laughs> um, so it's, it, that's okay. We don't have to worry about the kittens too much. Um, but she's she's the big boss and they know it <laughs> so um yeah they don't um they don't mess with her too much but you love the cone i know she looks so cute i have a purple one too but the purple one is a little bit bigger i have two soft cones because i um the purple one is a uh, slightly bigger in the neck hole because of shrimp um but then he hated it so no one's actually used the purple one but we do have two soft cones so maybe she can be purple tomorrow as a different outfit <laughs> But yellow is her color, you know? <laughs> Let me show you what she looks like up close. She's just, she's literally gonna sit there completely still, probably the entire stream as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, you shouldn't laugh at her. <laughs> her, yeah, like Pippa said, she's here physically, but her mind's in another place. <laughs> she's, she's in the room with us, but she's not in the room with us right now. <laughs> She's heavily medicated at this current moment. So she's uh, <laughs> she's just vibing, um, as if you will. Lights are on, no one's home. Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so silly. Well, thank you all so much for the subs and stuff uh, today. I really, really greatly appreciate it. I'm going to try and catch up real quick and then we'll play some Sims. Um, Logical and Bumble and Brianna and Emmy, Calypso, Samantha, Reason, Cat. Uh, we got Ava and, and Felidae and Watch Fate Flow. Little with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, uh, Kay and Alice, uh, Hylian, Liz, Care Bear, Brooke, Laura, Love Ghosted. Um, little with the bits, Emmy, Mumsy, Money, Kens, Megan, Aaron, Caffeinated, Charlie, Caffeinated Squirrel. That's a fun name. <laughs> Charlie, Mallory, <laughs> Melby, Smuffle, Clubsy, here for Lil Simsy. Uh, Boat and Alina and MV and White Rabbit, thank you for the subs. Uh, uh, Mafia and Matt and Sammy and Lemon and Lola. Uh, also Ghoulish and Nikki, thank you so much everybody. I think we should be caught up. Um, okay, so let me walk you through this situation. We've been playing the Not So Berry Challenge. I did not play it last week because I was a little bit distraught over the cancer news of my cat and then we were playing a bunch of Stardew Valley. But we're back. <laughs> um, I'll introduce you to all of my Sims real quick, just so that you're caught up. Um, this is my legacy heir. Their name is Moss. They them pronouns. Um, Moss is kind of a celebrity around these parts at this current moment, um, and they have a wife named Elphaba. Elphaba is a spellcaster. She's green. Um, not so very. <laughs> Everything's green. <laughs> Together, they have three kids. Uh, the first one is named Denim, because that's the blue gen. Uh, Denim has a sibling called Jort like jean shorts, blue gen, and they also have a little sibling called Smurf. Um, and this is Pulp, everybody knows about Pulp. How could you forget? <laughs> um, so those are my Sims. Elphaba's only trait is being green. Well, she's green and a spellcaster, she has both. Oh, snappy. She's gone to eat. She's gone to eat, she'll be back. Um, we have a lot of things in this room, we have litter, we have food, we have water. She's gone over to eat. So she's eating. <laughs> um, yes, and Denim is trans. Denim, Denim uses he, him pronouns. Um, 
Jort uses she, her pronouns, and Smurf. To be honest, I can't remember. I might have to check. <laughs> when it's a toddler, it's like, you don't really remember, you know? Um, it's, you're barely a person. You're just only a small baby still, you know? But I'm gonna check. That's why I don't tell you the wrong thing. <laughs> he, him! And Smurf's a spellcaster. And like a little elf. So, how does she eat with that? You know, the floppy comb's not that bad for her to eat on, or to eat with, because she still has like free range of motion with her face. The problem with the plastic cones is that it's like, I can't get to the bowl because my cone keeps hitting it. But with um with the, the floppy cone, her face can get in the bowl and like the cone's not really in the way. Um, so it's a little bit easier for her. Um, she does kind of like, I think she has an easier time with the water too. She kind of gets it wet sometimes. She really struggles to be in the litter box with the cone on. I have to take it off of her when she goes to the bathroom. Cause she tries to dig and she like puts her face in the litter and then her cone is in the litter and like she can't be in, yeah. She, so she has to have it off when she goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Cause otherwise she buries it in the litter, so. And she like, I think she wants to see to be able to dig and she can't really see where she's digging that easily. Um, but she gets around all right with the, with this one on, so. <laughs> um, isn't it heavy for the neck? It's very light. It's very, very small, Zulia. Um, I'm sure that it's not like not heavy on her neck, but like there's pros and cons, you know, and she has to wear one. And this one is a lot easier on her today. She didn't like it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's fine. Yesterday the plastic one was better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but she has she has her preferences and I don't understand them, but that's okay. <laughs> this one we like better today. Yesterday not so much. The the other problem with this one is that um, and she hasn't done this yet, but the kittens uh, when they had it, when Sunny had it because of her spay, that's why Sunny had a little surgery suit because she put her arms in it. And then she got really upset because her arms were stuck in there because she was trying to get it off and her arms got stuck in it. Um, and then she was like, you know, really distraught over it. And like, that wasn't good. But Snap hasn't tried to put her arms in this one. So, um, yeah, maybe she realized, actually, I don't like the heart cone. <laughs> I've changed my mind. After living with, it, with it, living with it for a bit, I've decided actually you were right, Kayla. And this one is better. I don't know. <laughs> Arch, Pyline, Puff, Walnut, Riley, Elijah Cannon, uh, and Cass, and Sneakings, and Mystic, and Dizzy, and Stephanie, and Artful, and Pug Mama, um, Artsy, Benny, Logical, Bumble, Brianna, Emmy, Calypso, Samantha, No Reason, and Kat, and Ava, thank you for the subs. I think we should be caught up now. Snappy, what are you gonna do? If you go to the door and try to yell, I won't let you out. So it doesn't matter what you do. She might go to the door and try to yell. Unfortunately, she's trapped today because she needs to be supervised. <laughs> Your cat liked the onesie the best? Oh, Snap did not like the onesie. The onesie was an absolute no way moment. It was, it was okay at first. It quickly became not okay. We did not like the onesie. Um, we changed our mind about the onesie. But Sunny liked the onesie best. So it just depends on the cat. Also, Snap has a massive like cut on her side, which maybe it was agitating with the onesie. I'm not sure, because um, people use them successfully a lot, but um, she's weird because she'll lay on the couch on top of her cut, but um, she has an easier time getting around when she's wearing this one too. She had a, a way harder time getting around in the onesie. It's like she forgot how to walk when she was wearing it, <laughs> so. She's coming back? I don't know what she, she's over there now. Her toys are over there. Maybe she'll try and play for the first time since the, since the thing. Um, Julie, I don't really know what you're talking about, um, but if you're trying to make some sort of like inflammatory anti-vax comment, I'm not really here for it. <laughs> um, I don't really know what your intentions are, but it's not the vibes. <laughs> You're, you're really in the wrong place for that. Um, 
Anyway. Um, <laughs> Sarah, Angela, Carrot, Arch, thank you for the subs. Um, wrong place for that one. No one here wants to hear it. Um, okay, well, we'll shower. Oh, now she's up on the tree. She's going around a lot. She's doing okay. She seems to be doing okay. Um, really? I believe in vaccines. Was just asking. Okay, I don't know what your intentions are. There's a lot of people with really bad intentions around vaccines here, so we're a little bit on guard. <laughs> Um, and I don't know, the tone of your comment is a little inappropriate when you're talking to someone whose cat has cancer. Just an idea. Um, but we, you should really see what we have to deal with around these parts. <laughs> so, just, you know, forgive me for being a little bit on, uh, on edge over it, so. Um, people are scary on the internet. Um, okay, let's go to sleep again. Chainsaw Kitty, Steffi, Thomas, Sarah, Angela, thank you for the subs. Um, you're gonna get to work and parenthood soon? Nice! Those are both fun packs. Oh, she's back again. I think she's licking the cone. She was. Oh, poor Snap. <laughs> she doesn't- she wants to lick her face, but she can't. I have been giving her some supervised not cone time. Um, but now is not the time for that because I'm streaming, so. <laughs> Poor snap. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, this day has been <sighs> almost unbearable. Um, you gonna lay down? I don't really know if she wants to lay down or not. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot I turned on her always teleport. <laughs> Because this sim is a spellcaster, she can teleport around, and I forgot I turned on the setting for her to always teleport. <laughs> it kind of scared me when she just showed up. She said, I am hungry, and I'll be making myself some food. Um, okay, I'm glad to hear that, Julie. Thanks for clarifying. Um, Brian, Verity, Ghostbeat, thank you for the subs, too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. <laughs> She's still licking it. I'm so sorry, Snap. Uh, <laughs> I feel so bad. I just feel so bad. This is horrible. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play my little Sims game and not worry about it. I'm gonna scare us. Thank you both for the resubs too. She has to wear it for two weeks, Noah. Um she has to wear it for two weeks. I think we might be okay again. Just don't look. It's impossible not to. I actually can't help it. Okay, so Moss for theirs. They have to work on their charisma skill a bunch. We still have a lot more time to spend on the computer. I might have them just come practice some speech today. Um, and then... I'm trying to decide... Maybe Elphaba, you want to do some more potion brewing. I guess you could probably come do that a little bit. And let me see how old everybody is. So this sim, Smurf is going to age up in one day. Why are, why were you in the basement? Desperate for fun. Okay. Here. I can help you. I can help you. Play inside a few times. Okay, and then these sims, once they're ready, I know that we want to prioritize, and this sounds bad, but we want to prioritize Jort a little bit, because Jort is going to be the legacy heir. So we may try and go to think about some of that stuff, too. What pack can you get them? Tents? Oh, this toddler tent comes from Dream Home Decorator, believe it or not. You might not expect it from that one, um, but, it, but it is from Dream Home Decorator, and it's really nice. It basically is like a cheat for the imagination skill. It goes up so quickly when you use the imagination, when you use it to build the imagination skill. Um, it's like basically instantaneous. Oh my God, would you please stop lagging? Yikes. This save's been struggling a little bit recently. It's been having a hard time. Um, can Sims turn into a spellcaster? Do they have to be created or born as one? Oh, you can turn them into a spellcaster bug lover. Um, just like how you can like 
pursue a, a quest to become a vampire, you can pursue a quest to become a spellcaster and stuff. Why is it lagging so much? She says while well, she has like 300 graves. I'm gonna reload the lot and see if that helps. Yeah, the kids all have blue skin. They were all born green, Floxy, because their mom is green. So I changed them all to be blue because they're the blue gen, not the green gen. Um, so yes, the kids are all blue. <laughs> um, kind of silly, but it is what it is. It's not that bad. Um, and it's kind of funny how they're really embracing the blue thing. People keep asking me uh, if they're freezing to death though. Like this, this is like kind of a nonstop thing. Oh my God, your kid's gonna freeze. No, they're just blue. So <laughs> it is confusing to the average person um, when she comes here <laughs> or when they come here, sorry. Um, I said she, cause I was reading um, Christine's vegetable alphabet, but it's kind of confusing at first, but they're blue cause they're blue. How do you know if they're freezing though? Well, I mean, just pay attention to their needs, I guess. And their moodlets. <laughs> I've never had a sim really freeze. So it should be okay. They'll get over it. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, well hopefully it lags less right now. Because if it does not lag less, I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, do you want to work on... how? What level programming do you have? You have level... 5 video gaming and 10 programming. Well, let's play some video games. See if we can get up that skill. I think that they're having an emotional meltdown. Yeah. Honestly, that's hitting a little too close to home today. After everything we've been through. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle the game causing problems for me today. <laughs> and the game being silly like that. <laughs> Rainy Royal Kayla, thank you for the subs. Okay. New to my Twitch, hey Lena, thanks for coming by the stream today. I'm glad you can make it. That is very fun. Hopefully you have a good time with us today. Um, all right. You wanna come get some food? The way I have to always feed the children on the floor is just terrible. Stardew then? No, no, we're gonna play Not So Very today. We will play Not So Very today. Don't worry. I'm gonna probably do some like triple speed though cause I'm trying, oh, you slept until 10 AM. We're trying to really um, get through this generation and get our skills up and stuff. So, oh, that is a plate right there. The lag is very short lived, the times where it's not laggy. You haven't even opened The Sims 4 since Stardew 1.6 came out, really, Christine? <laughs> Honestly, the Stardew update could not have come out at a better time for me emotionally. Like, it has been such a, a lovely thing to be able to farm so much through my stress. Because um, my anxiety is at like an all-time high recently. You know, <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's been fun to, to farm. Um, Snaps in a cute cone of shame. Yeah, she's a little flower today. She's just sitting. We were joking to chat. Um, she just had some more meds before I went live. So she's she's there, but she's not really like there, you know? Um, she's a little out of it at the moment. <laughs> so she might just be sitting there. <laughs> How is she? I think she's doing better. Um, I think that she's been in pain a little bit the past couple of days. I was telling chat this earlier, so I'm sorry to repeat myself. Oh my God, are you going to pee your pants? Um, but I think that like, as her meds were wearing off the last like couple of hours before the next dose, um, I think that she was in a lot of pain. So, um, we called the vet today and they prescribed her some extra medication. So, um, hopefully today is better. <laughs> uh, last night she started, um, it started seeming bad to me at like six o'clock, which of course is after the vet closed. Um, so I called them like first thing they opened this morning. My dad went and picked it up for me so I could stay with her. And now she's, I think, doing a little bit better. So it's all right. She'll be okay. It's just hard. The first couple of days are going to be really hard for her. 
Would you care, you can like pranks. Would you care to bottle all this up and then make some more for me? Cause you wanted to make five potions for your aspiration. And then Jort, you want to sleep in a tree house for six hours. Ugh. That simply won't do. <laughs> I don't know how we expect to do that, but. Oh my God, and it's lagging so much again. I do still have a tree house, but. It's just not gonna. <laughs> um, doesn't really fit. <laughs> it's kind of the problem. Maybe, hold on. Let me see if I can try and fit it in here. I can move the swing set into our inventory again. I wonder if we'll be able to put this in a location where... I think you can access... Oh, it's floating. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. Um, if it's clipping, is it fine? Let me just see. It only has to be short lived. Okay, we don't need it for a long time. I just need to see if I can get in here. Cause if I can get in here, then it's okay. And we can sleep in there tonight and then just put it back. Can you put it on the roof? <laughs> Could you imagine? I can't fit my tree house. So I put it in the, I'll make it float. We could do that if we have to. I think she might be able to get into it like this though. Oh yeah, she's fine. She can use it. Oh good, okay. So we'll be able to sleep in there tonight. So that solves that problem. Um, I might work on a different one of these in the meantime. Um, I might work on the mind and body one just a little bit if we can. No way all those graves were Sims. Oh, no. we're on the, the 19th generation of this save. Those graves were all Sims. <laughs> We've been playing this one for a long time. Make a little gnome picture, how about that? We have 283. They're not all my Sims. Um, the, there are a lot of graves that I just found. Cause you know how all your Sims, like all the townies die? I uh, went and just grabbed them all and brought them here. We kind of went on like a grave hunt to collect them all. So the kids are the 20th generation, yeah. Moss is gen 19 and the kids are gen 20. Kind of weird to think about, but yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Baltz, Maisie, Chrissy, Crystal, Tara, Sims fan. Uh, much, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Will I do another grave hunt? I don't think it's been long enough that there will be a lot of um, stuff for us to be able to collect, unfortunately. I think we still have a ways to go. Um, there, we kind of went to a couple lots a few weeks ago, but it's not been enough time for it to be as effective. So I think we should wait a little bit longer. Um, would you like to brew another potion of plentiful needs? We'll just keep doing it till we can get the five grown. And then you, I probably should get you a couple school projects lined up. Maybe I'll buy some more of these. No, Elphaba's dads both died, I think, Christine. And maybe in the last stream? It was recent that Elphaba's dads both died. They were on, on the older side. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I know they were your sim, your sims. What's the thing on Snap? It's a, it's a cone. It's like a soft cone though. Um, so it's like one of those little plastic ones you might be used to seeing. It, because with this on, she can't like turn around and chew on her incision site to be completely honest with you is what's happening. <laughs> um, Cause she can't pull out her stitches. Cause that would be really bad. Um, she has, if you weren't around this week, she had surgery on Tuesday to remove a cancerous mass on like her hip kind of. Um, and she has an incision about this big on her leg. Um, so it's kind of gruesome, but she's facing the wrong way. So you can't see it. <laughs> um, from this side, she looks like a normal cat, <laughs> um, but she has a, a lot of stitches that she can't pull out. So she has to wear that thing. So anyway, she looks like a cute napping flower. Yeah, she's just so cute and flowery and everything's fine, you know? Um, 
Yeah, Tiffany, I we could we started by being able to feel the lump and then went and took her to the vet um, when we realized that it was that it was bad like that. Um, so we noticed it on her and we were like, that one seems pretty bad. And then it grew extremely quickly. It like felt like it was just there all of a sudden. Um, so we took her to the vet uh, and they like did some tests on it. And then they were like, oh, yikes, you should remove that. <laughs> it's cancerous. So now here we are. Yeah, it's kind of scary because a lot of older animals get kind of lumpy and bumpy. Um, but they're not always as bad as this one. <laughs> so um, you just got to keep an eye on it and stuff. Um, but luckily, she doesn't know about that part. She's almost 16, tough. Um, she turned 16 in June, so she's getting older. Um, yeah, it's hard. I mean, especially with cats, um, sometimes it can be hard to know when they are sick and stuff. Um, luckily she had a lump, so it was like extremely visible. Um, but uh, it was like obvious to know what was going on and, and what the issue was, because we could see the lump and she wasn't having a lot of other symptoms. But oftentimes cats are really good at hiding their pain um, and like hiding symptoms. So it happens a lot where people's cats will be extremely sick and you don't know until all of a sudden they're really sick and like gonna die, you know? Um, which is kind of scary because you don't start noticing until it's too late because they're so good at hiding their symptoms. Um, but that's like instinctual for them. They're, they just are that way. So you gotta be really careful. Um, my parents' cat passed away a few months ago uh, from cancer and they didn't know that it was cancer for a long time. He was going to the vet a lot to figure out what was wrong with him, but they thought it was like allergies for a bit. Like maybe he was allergic to his food. Um, no, <laughs> he had cancer. <laughs> but you know, only so much that you can do, you know? I'm really sorry that happened to you, Speedman. Yeah, it's it's quite common um, that that happens to cats, so. Okay, um, I'm gonna send this child to bed. I need to age this one up soon. I just don't care about the toddler anymore, I'm over it. Why are you laughing? Sophie, because it's awkward. Um, if you had to talk about your dead cat in front of thousands of people, you'd feel awkward too. Probably not the best thing to judge people for uh, how they react to things like that. <laughs> Everyone handles grief differently, okay? It is nervous laughter because of a really awkward topic, all right? <laughs> Ugly, pointy, Amy, Pan, uh, Ailey, Mr. Bo, and Jessa, and Katie, thank you for the subs. Um, but that's, you know, maybe be careful with how you talk to people about stuff like that. <laughs> I know you don't mean any harm, but yikes. Okay, let's give Pulp a bubble bath because Pulp is fleas. Oops, wrong button again. Give Pulp a bath. Not a bubble bath. Don't give the dog a bubble bath. Give the dog just a regular bath. I swear this dog always has fleas. I'm not a very good pet parent in The Sims. Yikes. You laugh when uncomfortable and cry at everything. Wow, me. <laughs> I feel so seen right now. <laughs> Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> is that Pulp? Yeah, this one is. You know what? Pulp looks kind of like Snap right now with the orange thing around her neck. <laughs> the Discord is just discord.gg forward slash Lil Simsy. My mods linked it in the chat. Um, you should be able to grab it easily from there or you can like add it in the Discord. Uh, hungry, hungry, Voidy, Amy, thank you for the subs and stuff again. Okay, I need Moss to go back down. We need them to work on spending many, many, many hours on the computer. Pulp bald arc win. You know, I don't think you can make uh, Pets in the Sims bald, otherwise I would. Doesn't Pulp age? Oh, I keep giving Pulp age down treats. So Pulp does not age. I mean, she does technically, but then I fix it. So it's, you know, she's immortal. We can make it hairless. You know what I was telling? <laughs> I was joking to uh, Dan's mods last night. I was like, yeah, my cat, she's 25% hairless. <laughs> I was like, when people ask me what breed Snap is next time, I'm gonna say she's 25% hairless. <laughs> she's a really fancy cat. <laughs> I can show you. I don't want you to have to look at her um, incision, but I can, if you don't wanna, should I show you a picture? If you don't wanna see, you can close your eyes and I'll, I will um, tell you when it's gone, but. I can show you what I mean by 25% hairless. I haven't really shown a lot of pictures of her incision because it's 
big. <laughs> it is very, very, very big. <laughs> um, but I can show you. Show us, show us. Okay, I will put it on the screen in a second and I'll tell you when I do and then I will tell you when it's gone. If you don't want to see, I'll tell you. It's taking a long time to send it to Dan though, so I have to wait. It's still not up yet. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the screen now um, and then you can close your eyes or look away and then I'll tell you when it's gone, okay? Um, this is what it looks like. So she literally is like 25% hairless. <laughs> it's like the full back corner of her. <laughs> um, but she's got a big long line of stitches. Um, so if that disturbs you, look away, because it is it is a rough one. <laughs> so why did they shave so much? They just, just be careful. And they had to um, make a big incision to make sure that they're able to get all of it. So, um, but yeah, this is a lot. This is right when she got home from the vet, but poor Snappy. 25% hairless. <laughs> Wonder how many stitches. Yeah, I don't actually don't know. I haven't counted them. Um, it's gone again, by the way, chat, if you want to come back. It's, you can open your eyes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's gone. She's got no pants on. She, she only has half of her pants on, apparently. One leg of <laughs> pants. No, they aren't going to dissolve. She's going to have to go back to the vet in two weeks to get them removed. Um, so they're, they're real stitches. Only one pant leg. <laughs> I was, um, I was showing my, my friends a picture. I took, when she was eating, I took a picture of her from one side because you can only see it on half of her. You can see right now. You can't tell because of how she's sitting. Like you can't see it at all. Normal cat. <laughs> and then from the other side, Frankenstein. <laughs> so funny. So funny. She just looks perfectly fine from this side. You would never even know. Um, but... Yeah, the stitches aren't, they aren't that gross looking. Um, I mean, it's a little gross, but it's, it could be worse. It's not that bad. Um, not the Frankenstein. She literally does look like Frankenstein though. It's, it's rough. Okay, you can go to sleep again, kid. Sorry. Um, looks normal in the cat cam. Good. <laughs> they seem well done, neat and tidy. That's also good. I'm glad to hear that. That is relieving to me, to be honest. Um, I mean, I, I trust this vet. This vet is the same person who did my parents' dog's captain. Uh, my parents' dog captain had uh, his toe amputated. He has a cancer. He has cancer too. He had a cancerous toe and they amputated it um, like a couple, a month ago-ish. It was recent. Oh, we've been through it. <laughs> we have been through it. Outrun, I don't always have the lights on. I turned them on today um, in the beginning of stream so I could show chat. I usually keep them on auto lights, um, but I was just trying to show chat, so. Okay. Um, well, I'll let them try and finish this then. I think so. Your dog's name is Captain Two. Oh, Oh, really? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Uh, Pink Cat Lady, Panda, Maddie, thank you for the subs. Okay, well, as soon as they finish these, they can go back inside. I'm kind of like forcing them to sit out in the rain, which is really unpleasant and I'm sorry, but you must build skills. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> there we go, first one. Congratulations, kid, you can get some food now. We think that Jort's gonna be the heir, Emma. I'm not a thousand percent decided. I'm, I'm still, maybe up in the air, but I'm pretty certain Jort's gonna be the air. Uh, like, like 99% chance Jort's gonna be the air. I think we're all kind of leaning towards Jort as the air, so. I know some people like denim. It, it's purely because I think the name Jort is so silly. <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with the same, it's, it's just, it's just the name Jort is so silly. <laughs> I, I need it to be, I, I think it has to be. I really like it. Um, but that's the thing, uh, Eld, I don't really have a way that I decide who the heir is. Like, some people, um, some people like to do, like, you know, maybe the eldest sim, maybe this, maybe that. I'm, I'm kind of just team whoever the vibes are right with <laughs> in this. And most of the time it has to do with their, with their name. So, Jort. Yeah, this hair is custom content. Um, we have a couple CC hairs for the kids because there isn't blue hair for children. Um, I don't normally use custom content for the most part, but occasionally like for things like this where there isn't any blue hair for kids and I want to have blue hair. 
kind of have to use CC for the kids. Um, okay, after you finish using the bathroom, you can come get some food too. How about that? Are the kids spellcasters? Yes, I believe George is a spellcaster. Um, and Denim is not. I can't remember. I think everybody but Denim's a spellcaster, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I might be misremembering. You can't really tell that much when they're only small children, so we have to wait a little. Um, okay, get leftovers. Nice. Your dog is Juliet. Oh, I love that name, Ariel. I know, I'm so sorry. It's, um... It's really scary having pets getting old. Um, it's like absolutely horrifying and terrible and I'm really just so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, you can play some more games. For self, okay, maybe not. <laughs> you don't have to play any more games. I was trying to get this done. We need to spend a hundred hours on the computer. Um, but I guess you don't have to cause you're gonna have to force yourself to. Sorry. <laughs> Shrek 2 is very hungry. Oh no. Fix that too. Fill food, observe, play with. Okay. And then you, I guess, I don't even know what to have you work on aside from, maybe I'll switch this back to your creative genius one and you can go sleep in the treehouse. We could go to sleep early and see if that helps us. Cause I oftentimes have a hard time getting them to sleep for a full six hours in the treehouse, So we could just go working on it right now. Um, that's the challenge of a finish line. Yeah, the not so very challenge is 10 generations. Um, it's, it's 10 generations even. So we'll, we'll be done after the blue gen grows up technically and has kids. Um, but we haven't fully decided what we're gonna do next after this. Um, my save is kind of struggling, so I'm a little bit nervous about the possibility of like playing in it longer. So I don't really know what we're gonna do after we finish, not so very, but we'll think about it. We'll think about it. I'm gonna save again real quick too. Angie, thank you for the 59 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, is the treehouse goal collective or in one session? Uh, I think it's total. As long as she sleeps for six hours total in a treehouse, it'll work, but it's just hard to tell like how long it's been, if they get up and go back and get up and go back. Um, but hopefully we can get a full night's sleep in that treehouse tonight. It is total though, I'm fairly certain. Okay, after you finish eating, you can go to sleep too. Everyone, from which pack is the blue wallpaper? Um, this one with the clouds is from Parenthood and this one in here is base game if that helps. <laughs> and I think that's the only blue wallpaper because <laughs> everything else in the house is green. <laughs> okay, use the bathroom, sorry, and then go to bed. How about that? Alphaba is making you want to watch the Wicked movie. <laughs> no, I, I feel the same way. I think that's kind of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. The Wicked musical is so good. It's, it's a, a classic for a reason. Um, has Snap moved at all in the last five minutes? No, this is what I've been trying to tell you all. She's there, but she's not really all there. She's, she is very medicated right now. So she's, she's alive. She's breathing, but she's, um, you know, not, not fully with us. <laughs> she's asleep. Um, she said we, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, but it's for the best because uh, around this time yesterday is when her regular, so basically I'll say it again, I'm sorry. Um, she has meds that I'm supposed to give her every 12 hours for pain. And around this time, like 5.30 yesterday, they kind of started to wear off and I could tell that she was in pain because she was being kind of aggressive. Um, so today I called the vet this morning when they opened and I was like, hey, I think she's in pain. Can we have some more medication? So I have some gabapentin too that we've basically alternated. So she had it like, before I went live to help get her by until her pain medication later tonight. So um, she just took some medication. <laughs> so um, do I think the movie will follow the musical or the novel more? I assume probably the musical Libra um, 
more so than the novel, but don't people really dislike the Wicked book? I've never read it, but I feel like I've heard a lot of bad things about it. Um, don't people dislike it? It's meh. Didn't know there was a book. Yeah. <laughs> it's very dark. Oh, interesting. Don't read it. It's bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't really have intentions of reading it, to be honest. Um, but very different from the musical. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, no, I did not create the 100 Baby Challenge. That's been around for a long time, Jojo. It's been around for a long, long, long time. Um, well, you didn't even finish fully sleeping. Back to bed. I'm gonna make Moss work on their charisma skill like all day. Um, it definitely isn't age appropriate for the same group that Wicked is. Oh yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, okay, well, I guess as soon as you're awake, do you wanna come? Don't practice acting, practice speech. Alphaba, you, my friend, need to get your gardening skill up or else you're never gonna be able to get promoted, so. We may wanna come. Alphaba is too afraid of plants. I'm sorry, I'm cheating that away. I actually cannot, I, I refuse to deal with that. Now there's no way. There is no way. <laughs> Hi, Shella, how are you? Um, get leftovers, okay. Oh my god. Random ghosts. Any shows you're watching and recommend? I'm not watching anything exciting. I mean, I always- <laughs> I'm watching Drag Race right now, as per usual, but I'm not really watching any other TV shows at the moment. Drag Race and Survivor, are the, and they're both on live right now, Wednesdays and Fridays. So... Yeah, that's my problem too, Christine. I don't know how to get Sims unafraid of plants once they're already afraid of plants. Um, but I haven't been watching any like old TV shows or like like series of like storyline type shows recently. I've only been watching a little bit of reality TV. So, um, I know that's boring. Yeah, every time a Sim gets eaten by a cow plant, they get scared of uh, plants, and then I don't know how to make them not be scared of plants anymore. I can't get rid of it. Um, I'm a reality TV consumer. Me too. <gasps> I saw a thing. Okay, I've talked for ages, for years, about how I like this TV show called The Circle. Get this. I saw a little preview thingy about the, the new Circle season coming out in a couple of weeks. They have an AI catfish. I am so sick and tired of this. I do not want to see anything about stupid AI. I'm so, I'm so annoyed by that. Genuinely so annoyed by that. It like makes me not want to watch the show. Gross, just disgusting and gross. Oh, it's everywhere. I don't care. I don't want to, I just, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> icky. Oh, bro, you told me about that. Well, you'll have to keep us updated on how that goes. Um, hopefully it goes well for you. I will feel bad if it doesn't. I did it! Okay, we finished sleeping in the treehouse for six hours. Um, I'll probably work on this mind and body one then. Next. Milk a cow plant in the confident mood. Oh, is that how you fix it? I guess that makes sense. Um... Are you broken? No. Okay. Children, you can all come eat some cake, all right? There you go. Snappy's cone of flour? It is. <laughs> it is a little flour. I can, let me see if I have a better picture because I can show you a up close picture of what it looks like. Um, I think I sent it to Hope earlier. Oh yeah. This is kind of cute. Wait, look. If it wasn't so sad, it'd be really cute. <laughs> look at how adorable it is. She's got a little flower. She's so pretty. You look so good in yellow, Snappy. <laughs> but it is kind of cute. 
Like, it's it's sad that she has to wear it, but it is kind of cute, you know? <laughs> How are the other cats? They're doing good. They're fine. Thankfully. Um, Built-in pillow? Yeah, see? She can rest her head on it. It's a good thing. She should like it. Where did I find the coneflower? Oh, you can buy them all over the place. Um, to be honest, I got this one on Amazon. Um, but a while back, I got it before when the kittens had their spay and neuter a few months ago. Um, does she react to her name being called? Cause she didn't look at you all stream. Oh, that's because she can't hear. <laughs> um, she can't hear and she's uh, heavily medicated. So it's two, but she can't, me talking, she doesn't hear that at all. <laughs> she hears like really loud noises. You can't be gloomy. Um, like if I like drop something loud and it like clattered or something, she might hear that, but she didn't hear um, voices. She can't hear that. <laughs> um, her hearing is not so good anymore now that she's older. <laughs> so um, just completely blissfully unaware. Mare Bear, Ashley, Bailey, Hannah, Broccoli, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well, Moss, you're still talking to yourself, yes? You're almost there with the skill that you need to improve. There we go. So that's level six charisma. You need level seven of your stupid gardening skill, which is so annoying. They all reset themselves! I'm gonna have to cheat them back to be full grown again. Oh, she moved! Um, I may have to cheat these ones back to be full grown because they were all full grown and the gardening is so glitchy that they just disappear and go back down again. So I will let myself have that, I think. Okay, set gardening, blossoming, blossoming. Are you gonna weed those too, maybe? We're like this close to getting the skill up, come on. Come on, the plants glitch is so annoying. <laughs> Oh, Beth, thank you for the eight months. Love to you and your little old lady cat from me and my little old man cat. He turned 17 this summer. Oh my gosh. Um, wish you could reset your houseplants <laughs> in real life. <laughs> when you kill your houseplant by accident, so you just shift click reset gardening state. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. She's still like this close to getting the skill up. Come on. There we go. You did it. You can take care of these afterward too. Weed area, harvest all. Okay. Um. Oh, do you want to talk to Pulp? That's probably for the best. Yeah, that's a that's a really good point, Christine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really would love to know how- emotional meltdown, not again. I really would love to know how that glitch is still around. It literally, it started happening when they made seasons. And they claim that they fix it multiple times, but it keeps coming back in like new ways. So. <laughs> Will there be another shell challenge soon? Hopefully, um, I haven't fully decided. To be honest, a lot of my uh, plans, they, they've kind of um, fallen apart. <laughs> I haven't even planned as much of the St. Jude event as I would have liked to have by now because of this as well. Like it's really th thrown me off. <laughs> like between like finding out about the news and then now like the surgery and the recovery, it's like the past couple weeks have been not, I'm, I don't have, I don't have any plans right now for anything, <laughs> but people have been asking about shell challenges a lot. So I probably should pick a day to do one soon. Um, cause it's been coming up a lot. People want to do a shell challenge. Um, I've just been a little distracted. We are surviving and not thriving at this current moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is, that is the situation. Okay. I think I'm gonna, are you ready to age up? Can I just do it anyway? Like, I think I might. Um, let me, oh, wrong sim. Oh no. 
Completely frozen, yikes. Um, you want me to go to the flea market with you? No. Age sims up early as a treat, yeah. If mods did a puzzle shell for the community? Um, Christine, you present that as though- <laughs> You present this puzzle shell for the community as though it's a, a concept that will make things easier for me. <laughs> she goes, it'll take some heat off of you. It'll be easier if, how about we make the shell? Now, hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, Christine. <laughs> you cannot fool us like that. Oh no, let, let us do it. We won't do anything wrong. We'll just help you, Kayla. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't think about it that much. <laughs> she's like, I'll just slip it in there and see if she's like, oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> Moss, what are you doing? I hate how they try and cook in this cabinet. It's so annoying. I probably, you know what I should maybe do? Hold on. Let me just scoot that over for a sec. I think I might try, oh, lag. I think I might try and just stick something on this. Cause then they should stop trying to cook on it. Cause there'll be, there'll be like an item there. Um, oh my God, it's lagging so much. Save again, but then they'll hopefully stop. They've been doing that for so long. Why is LMAO blurred? That's on you, best Bessie. <laughs> If you're seeing the like any asterisks in chat, um, that's because you have chat filters on um, in in your Twitch settings. You can turn them off in your Twitch settings, but the chat filters with asterisks are always you. Um, if I have things blocked, you won't see them at all. So anytime there's like an asterisk in chat, um, that's because you have a filter up, so it, it hides it. If you press the little gear icon, you can edit your chat filters so you can fix it. Oh no. <laughs> It's been saving for a long time. Or links. It does It does put links as asterisks, too. Um, it's blocked for me because I'm lazy and haven't changed it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I always, I get kind of, like, defensive almost when people ask me about that. Because I'm like, I hope you don't think that, like, I'm so annoying as to block the word LMAO. Like, <laughs> it's just a, it's, it's people's individual chat filter. So I always try to explain. I'm like, wait, no, it's not me, I swear. Oh my God, why is it lagging so much? This save has been really rough recently, which is very upsetting because I don't want to get rid of it. But it struggles. Should I reload again? Hi, Gluon, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for the 48 months. Oh my God, that is a long time. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. Uh, and Bean and Unicorn. Wait, Siji the Unicorn and Unicorn Reigns both just subscribed in a row, two unicorns. Um, and Mass and Emily and, and Caitlin, thank you for the subs too. Clear my game cache. You know what it is? It's not that. It's the fact that I have 300 graves in my front yard. So I'm sat here like, oh my God, it's lagging. Why is it lagging? It's so weird. Um, it's because of the graves. Oh no, you didn't stress me out, Raven. Don't worry. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you knew that I wasn't like being weird. Don't worry, I'm not stressed by that. I just was like, it's not me, I swear. <laughs> we don't have 300 yet. We have 283, technically. And I plan on keeping them. So, don't let the lag stop you from killing Sims. Thank you, Gluon. I really appreciate that. It's really kind of you to say. I'm glad you're on the same page. <laughs> I love that Snappy is sitting like this, like facing the camera. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, it makes me want to cry. She's just so cute. <laughs> She's so sleepy. I'm sorry I've done this to you, Sap. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, it's a lot better now. What are you doing? Hello? I think Moss is going all the way around the house to get back to the kitchen to cook the thing again. You grabbed it from the back and now you're going back around all the way. If it's lagging, hit save. Well, I, I just did that, Queen Hunter. I tried that first. 
Sometimes pressing escape will help it too. Um, sometimes going in and out of build mode, it kind of just depends. This is making it hard for me to play. Uh, what do you think we should do? This has been like the third stream that it's been bad like this. Triple speeding's not helping though. No, I'm not helping my triple speeding. What are you doing? Are you going in a circle again? You're going to the offshore graveyard. Oh, I'm just not ready to do that. You know? You know what we could try to do? What if I try to put them in my inventory and just see if that helps us? Like, what if we take them away just for a second and see if that does fix it? Moss is going to the outside kitchen, I think. They're gonna go try and cook it on the outdoor kitchen. So. Okay, well, it's not going that well. Might be the game. All your saves have been super laggy recently. Yeah, I've been having this issue in a lot of saves, but this one is like the worst of them. Maybe only offshore the random graves. That's true. These graves on this half are, oh my God, are all the randoms. We could get rid of the, the randoms and keep our family if we really wanted to. Oh no, these are the family. These are the randoms. I was on the right side, Never mind. Can we release the spirits of non-relatives? We could try to. Let me see if I can just hide all of these for now. Wow. Can they be put in a chest? Yeah, they could be put in a chest. I'm gonna keep them in Moss's inventory for now because that way we have like easier access to them. The chests always kind of stress me out because I worry about them glitching. Wish you could multi-select. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be helpful. Put them next door. We could try and make a separate graveyard lot. I don't know, we've just made it this far. I've I've loved having them. Why are there so many graves? I've been collecting them. No, we're not moving, Cat Lady. We are um we're putting away the random people's graves because the game's lagging a lot, so I'm wondering if I put them away if it'll lag less. I'm just gonna do this half, not the other half. We've made it this far, but if it's making the game unplayable, is it still worth it? No, exactly. If, if the game's not playable because of the lag, it's not worth it. But... Imagine traveling around all these graves in your pocket. Yeah, seriously. Imagine just like heading out to the park, got like 200 graves in my pocket. <laughs> nothing to see here, nothing to see here, it's fine. Oops. Put them on the lot next door so you can still see them. Well, there isn't really a lot that's like that close next door. Like they're kind of far away, but. Gonna build another booth that way. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not putting my graves in my household inventory. The household inventory is so cursed and it's so laggy when you try to put things out of your household inventory. You want your graves in your personal inventory. If you have a lot of items and items that are important to you, household inventory is a bad idea. And trust me, I learned my lesson. When you try and place them out of the household inventory, it's so laggy to replace them. It's so bad. It's so bad. Um, so anyway, we, we can't use them in there. <laughs> household inventory is a dangerous place. Uh, XP and Peanut and your local. Thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Um, oops. Yeah, stacks of photos can cause problems too. Why is it laggy? Is it the Sims 4 update that did that? Oh no, it's been like this. Um, the game's just been like this. We can always build a graveyard in like the original Potts family lot in Willow Creek. That's true, see, if we wanted to, we could do something like that. I don't know. 
Might be a fun idea to build one for real. It's just sad. They're gonna be all gone. Take it back to the start, yeah. <laughs> you have over 600 pictures in your inventory along with all your graves, yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, let's reload the lot now with them like that and see if that does anything better for us. And then we have to finish trying to age up the toddler because I've not done that yet. We're playing kind of slow today because I'm just distracted and in a rough mood, I guess. <laughs> um, could just place them and fill the lot. Yeah, that's the thing. We say graveyard, but it's not gonna be laid out like individually as a normal graveyard would be. It'll be more like that, but just on a separate lot, you know? So let's see if this works for us instead. I am in a rough mood, I guess. <laughs> so me, well, I mean, it's true. Looks like Snap has bunny ears, does it? <laughs> From the camera perspective, it does. That's funny. Um, well, I'm glad that Snap is hanging out with us today, even though uh, I did trap her in here. So. <laughs> oh, really, Cameron? I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. We support you no matter your mood. Thank you. <laughs> like, we're all going through this together. Everybody has their, uh, their rough spots. I'm in one right now. Hi, Dad. Yeah, Snap's looking really cute on the cat cam right now, isn't she? <laughs> the chat has been admiring her. She's hanging out with us. Um, okay, well hopefully the reload and the graves being put away will have helped us. I'm just gonna let it run now for a bit and we'll see how this goes. Give me a neck pillow like that for the plane! Can, right? Can I have a little daisy sunflower thing? <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> okay, it didn't actually help. Ah. I think the save's just struggling, but we'll see how it goes. And if we need to do something else for it, then we'll see. Okay, maybe restart the game. Oh, maybe I could do a fresh restart of the whole game. Let's try that. I'm sorry that we're like trying to troubleshoot on stream, uh-oh. What are we gonna do now, Snap? We're going back over to our food bowl. She's getting a snack. She wants some food. She has a litter box in here too, so I didn't know what she was gonna do. <laughs> okay, well, let's try again. See if a fresh reload helps us. She's taking her break. Yeah, she's like, I've been on camera for an hour. It's my, it's time for a break. <laughs> oh, she pushed the bowl by accident with her cone. She can eat all right with this cone. This one, her face is like pretty free to move around in this cone, so. She's able to get enough. Okay. The game is closed. I'm coming back. The way she woke up, thought about it, and went for it, yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna get a snack. Are you paying her in treats, Kayla? Yeah, apparently. You know what I do like? She's using the little, I bought her like a little staircase. I don't know if you can tell. Hold on, let me move. I bought her a little staircase because she can get up for the most part, okay? She has a hard time getting down from things. Um, so I bought that so that she can safely get up and down. <laughs> she's okay, like, she'll climb. She goes from that onto the tree. Like, she can make the climb. I think it's just, like, this, the big vertical jumps and, like, jumping um, will be kind of hard on her right now. So, I bought her some stairs so that she could get up and down more easily. <laughs> I've been bringing them around. I, I really didn't want her to try and get up and down from the bed. Um, so, that's the main reason. I just moved them around with us wherever we go. So, okay, let's try this again and see if it's better. Um, 
your cat was flinging herself off things and ignoring the stairs a week post-op. Really? Yeah. The, the kittens, it's so funny because Sunny, like, they, they tell you, they're like, okay, they need to keep it, like, kind of chill for, like, two weeks after the surgery. And it's like, you're talking about a kitten that got spayed today. And I get home with them. She was wild. <laughs> Sunny, when she got home from her spay, like... She's running around, she's climbing things, like, uh, I swear the anesthesia made her more active than, like, Snap is, like, kind of woozy. No, Sunny, she was wild. Like, good luck trying to control a cat like that. And they even said that they were like, good luck, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah, no, absolutely no chill with those, but... It's kind of funny. Catch me if you can. Yeah. She was kind of sleepy when she was on her medication. Um, but when she first got home, she was not sleepy. Good luck trying to control a cat, point blank. Yeah. It's easier with Snap because she's older. She's not as, like, wild. Just in general. So. That's good. <laughs> you locked her in the bathroom to reduce where she could run. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Um, okay. Morgan, tiny tip, thank you for the subs. I did a fresh load of the whole game, so hopefully it'll be lagging less now. Oh. Okay. That's shiny and easy. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm not gonna triple speed, don't let me. At least not right now. I'll keep taking care of these. You should probably come inside now. Okay. Um, Celery, Maddie, Morgan, thank you for the subs. Sims be simming this week. Yeah, it's really doing a lot, isn't it? It's really doing a lot. Okay, I just baked this ridiculous cake for my cat. I mean, for my toddler. <laughs> what? I've been talking about cats all day. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Why is triple speed bad? Because it can make the lag worse. It Sometimes the game struggles with some like simulation lag issues when you triple speed. Not always. Um, and it's not like the root cause of all your problems, but it can contribute to it. Um, so if you're having trouble with, with the game lagging a lot, you can try to not triple speed as much um, and see if that helps. It's just hard because I, I like nonstop play sped up a lot of the time. Okay, you're still working on all this. So sorry about that. Are the bugs back? I thought I did all this already. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. She went back to the bowl again. She's still eating. Okay, happy birthday. Was there an Among Us stream last month? We played Among Us on Monday, Amy. Um, we were planning to do it at the end of April, and then we, or sorry, at the end of March. And then we remembered that they did an April Fool's thing last year. So we were like, wait, we should do it on April 1st so that we can do like the April Fool's event if they have one. And boy, did they have an April Fool's event. <laughs> they, they had long mode. So, green fiend. Interesting trait to age up with. And you kept your blue hair when you aged up, so that's good. Alright, I'm gonna go into cast and give this one a makeover now. Um, you thought Smurf looked like a Smurf? Didn't realize their name was actually Smurf? Yeah, his name is in fact Smurf. Alina, thanks for the 10 months. Amanda, thank you for the 34 months. Snap's doing okay. Come here, kitty. Wanna come back? I think she might want on my desk. She's not over here yet, but she looks like she's coming over. If she wants on the desk, I have to pick her up because she can't get up herself. Come here, kitty. You want to sit on my lap? Hmm. If you want to get on the desk, you can. Oh my god, you are so sleepy. Are you going to go up? Hmm. Okay. Now, can you even make it up right now? Oh my god. <laughs> the meds have kicked in. <laughs> She can't get off my lap onto the desk. <laughs> well, she's here sitting with us. You can lay down if you want, Snap. You can do whatever you need to do. Oh! Oh my god, she just tried to fall off the desk onto my lap. Snappy, maybe I- hold on. I'm gonna put her back on her, um, on her- on her- 
chair. I don't trust her on this, on my desk. <laughs> Come here, Snap. We're going back to the chair. <laughs> you are not allowed to be doing this. <laughs> Even supervised. Okay. <laughs> oh, Snap. Wow, okay, I have returned. I can put the cat cam back on. We'll see what she does. Hopefully she stays there. Yeah, the gabapentin knocks her out. This happened when she was on it last and after her dental. The other meds that she's on have not been making her as like, um, folly, <laughs> like stumbly, but this gabapentin makes her stumbly. Um, okay, anyway. Um, it's lagging in cast even a little bit. So Smurf, for your outfits, you can honestly keep this hairstyle if you want. I kind of like it. Oh, Age, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Uh, and Cardigan, Alina, Mana, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, Denim is the only one who's not a spellcaster. I actually feel kind of bad for him because um, both of his siblings are spellcasters and he's not. <laughs> oh, snappy. It's because after she eats, she wants to clean her, like, face and stuff, and she can't do it. Um, because of the thing on her head. Oh. I'm sorry. Can we give Smurf white hair more Smurf-like? People have been asking for that a lot. I don't really want to. I'm really committed to the blue thing. Unfortunately, I think. Okay, it's being so laggy and cast still. I don't understand what's wrong with my game today. It's like so bad. To the point of being kind of unbearable. Oh, snap. Oh, you're gonna get the thing off your head. Hold on. I have to fix it. <laughs> Snappy, you can't do that. It has to go back on your head. I can scratch your ear. Is that what you want? There you go. Is that better? And then you lay down, okay? It's okay. <laughs> oh no. Did that help a little? Okay, she's come back over. Snappy, I don't want you to be on my desk. I know you just got on my desk, but you almost fell off, and that's why I don't want you up there. You can sit under the desk. How about that? Oh, boy. Okay. Sorry, outfits. <laughs> um, when your Sims lags, you do this, and it clears. That's not dumb. That's a fact. It does do that, um, except it's not been working in this save. As you can see, it's still lagging a lot. This is making me feel really upset. I don't really know what to do about it. Yeah, it like usually works. Oh my god, she wants up. Okay. I will put you up, but you have to stay right on the desk, okay, Snap? You cannot try to walk anywhere else. Does that make sense? You can sit with me up here, but you have to stay. Okay. I think she'll lay down and that should be fine. So we did have the little elf outfit as a toddler. Do you think it's worth putting it back as a child? Oh my God, it's so lagging. Yeah, hugs. I don't know if you just got here, <laughs> but we've been trying the like manage worlds and back, close the game, reopen the game. We've done everything to try and fix the lag. I even got rid of a lot of my graves. I even got rid of a lot of my graves, sorry. And even that's not helping us. Oh my god, this is so silly. Um, seasons. Have I cleared my game yeah. cache folder lately? Ula. I mean, I guess not particularly. Does that even actually make a difference? Like, I don't know. Let's go through and do all of our how. Yes, totally. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't think it will make a difference for us in this save, but we can try it and see. 
Because the thing is, it's like a it's like a this save problem, you know? Uh, Ryan, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, by the way. Ryan, sorry, thank you so much. Martha, the spree sub. Baby and Roses, thank you for the resubs. Thank you so much. Um, but I don't know. It, I, I think it will make a, a ever so slight minuscule difference. <laughs> I don't really love that we're trying to troubleshoot this in front of people either. This is like very unfortunate timing. So for that, I am sorry. Um, it's unbearable though, isn't it? Um, okay. Party, swimwear. I think I might, we'll, we'll try to clear the cache. And then if it keeps doing it, I feel like maybe we should do something else today and then I can try and like mess with it a little bit more off stream because this is to a point where it's kind of unplayable. Like nobody wants to sit here and watch the game doing this. Um, so we can, we'll try and like clear the cache and see if that helps. And then if not, maybe I'll try and mess with it off stream. Cause like, <laughs> This save is really old. The save is years old. Um, we've been playing in it for a long time, over many generations. So it's not surprising that it's struggling. Um, but I don't know. Let's do something else, Sims. I'll, I'll play Sims today. We'll play something else in The Sims today. Um, if we can't do this save, we can do something else. We could even play like 100 Baby or do a build or something um, if we can't get this to work right. We haven't done a lot of Sims builds on stream recently, so we could do that. Um, I don't know. Snap is just laying there on my desk. I'm actually glad that she's sitting up here. This is good. This is good. Um, you're gonna DM me a build idea? Ooh, okay, interesting, interesting. We'll see how that goes. What if it's like a prank from Tilly and it's not really a build idea? What then? Mm, still lag. Okay, let's try and go out of the game and clear the cache and see what happens. Um, new shell challenge. I don't like to do shell challenges without warning for people because a lot of people, they like to come to the shell challenge streams. So I don't love doing a shell challenge on a day where people don't know about it in advance. Because um, then like people are like, wait, there's a shell, I missed it. <laughs> so I usually try and talk about it in advance just so people are aware. Um, and they don't like end up missing it by accident. Um, you know? Okay, the game is getting closed. We're gonna try this again. Um, Tilly wants a Stardew inspired build. <laughs> I don't really wanna do a farm build, I don't think. Um, I don't know. We might not end up building. Clearing the cache might, might work. Um, we might have an easier time if we do this. Okay. I'm gonna see what we can do out of the... Folder. I'm deleting a few things. Um, okay. This will be fine. You know what else I might try and do? Maybe I'll move some of my screenshots out of the game folder. I don't know if that makes a difference, but we could try it. See if that helps us too. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Take two. <laughs> We're back. We're gonna see if it's gonna run better. It might run better. It might not. If not, then we are gonna try and do it more on stream because there's no point trying to troubleshoot on stream. Um, yours was lagging because the MC Command Center errors try to clean MCC too. Oh, I didn't do that. Um, yeah, I keep a lot of my, I, I store my screenshots out of the game in like separate folders organized by save file, but I have a lot of, to be honest, I haven't really organized my screenshots recently. So um, I need to go through and organize a bunch of them. <laughs> I take a lot of screenshots, but recently isn't like the last month. So I don't have that many screenshots, but it doesn't hurt. Maybe I will try and clear the MC command center too then. Um, mods. Delete that one. Okay, I'm gonna do a little redo again. I'm giving Peach Gen today. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Snap is on my desk right now. She's um, she's here. I would. I'm not gonna like lift her, but 
take my word for it. <laughs> she sit with me on my desk. Um, that's what I did, Glory, don't worry. That's what I did. Okay, you have way too many screenshots for someone who doesn't post them. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's it's like, you you don't wanna not take screenshots of important things, you just save them. And you take a lot of screenshots by accident too. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have done that plenty of times, because I certainly have. <laughs> Um, I constantly take videos by accident in game two. If you take, uh, if you press V, it starts recording a video. I press V by accident all the time. And that's so annoying because nobody wants these like weird, poor quality in-game recordings. Like it's so stupid, <laughs> but I take a lot of videos by accident on occasion. Um, we'll see if this one works out. Um, when you forget hotkeys, you press a bunch and then take videos by accident. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we all do it. Honestly, I don't even know why it's even an option because the videos are such bad quality. It's like so unnecessary. Yeah, and it's always like random videos. I probably should have tried to delete some of those just then too, but I didn't. Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, if I look in the, <laughs> look. Oh, oh, hold on. I don't think that, um, I'm gonna get them to open. I'm having some computer problems recently, but look, there's pulp. Most of it's just builds. These are from months ago, videos of the, um, the big giant, like, resort lot that I did. Um, that's really funny. <laughs> you wrote down what you do for lag in mod games. Oh, let me see what you put, Let's see. Um, save as, clear cache, delete unnecessary townies, unneeded builds, remove lot traits and challenges you don't need, clear out household and personal inventories, reduce clutter on lot, and delete anything you're not using from your mods folder. Yeah, those are all good tips. All things that, um, I have done many times in this save over the years. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. It happens sometimes. Um, well, we'll see if it's better this time. And if not, I'll work on it more off stream and we'll figure out something else to do. This is very unfortunate, but it's causing us some trouble. I don't have the energy to deal with my game being broken right now. It's very rude of it to do this. I just want to play Sims. I just want to play Sims. Yeah, I don't think the game is built for long legacies like that either, see? It's really hard to play in saves this long. It really starts to fall apart. Um, oh my god, Allie! <laughs> Thank you for 22 months. You were the winner of her painting a while ago. That is absolutely amazing. I always wondered if, oh, we're, it's always fine when you first load back in. I always wondered if that person was still around. Um, so that's amazing. I did a giveaway um, during a charity event a couple years ago where I sent someone a painting that Snap had made, which actually was like, I put a, I put it in like a plastic bag with paint and then I put like catnip on top of the plastic bag and then like she rolled on the catnip and then it made a painting um, and I mailed it to somebody. <laughs> and you say that you are the proud owner and you still have it. That's amazing. I literally think about that all the time and you still have it. That's cool. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> okay, well the game is is working right now. For now at least, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna try and get a couple things, like some school projects to work on too. Um, you're cross crossing your fingies? Yeah, cross your fingies to see if we can keep playing after like an hour and a half of the game struggling. Oh, I can't type very easily. Oh. Okay, sorry, cat on keyboard. <laughs> she's not quite on the keyboard, but she's taken up like all the desk space. So, she can do whatever she wants, but. Well, it's looking a little bit better. What did I do? Um, I cleared the cache, I took out my screenshots. I um, removed the MC Command Center, like last exceptions, I cleared those, um, lots of stuff like that. So <laughs> I did a bunch of things all at once. <laughs> yeah, you can do auctions now on Tiltify Maxi, which is interesting. I haven't tried that. Um, it might be interesting to see about how that goes. Um, I'll have to think more about it. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh God, you guys, yesterday, 
most of you don't care about this, <laughs> um, but I'll tell you about it anyway. Um, so St. Jude does like an in-person event called the Summit, at least they used to pre-COVID. Last year was the first year back um, before like Play Live fundraising season starts. Um, and basically a bunch of people that fundraise all get together and go to visit St. Jude the hospital and it's really cool and stuff. Um, well, that's supposed to happen at the end of April. And I had to tell them yesterday that I don't think I can go and like pull out of the summit, which I really did not want to do, but like, I'm really worried about Snap. <laughs> and, and like, I don't know if she's gonna be healed in time well enough for her to be like left with a cat sitter like my family would take care of her but i just don't feel comfortable doing that and so i felt so guilty sending that message and i'm so sad because i wanted to go and it's just <sighs> um I, I mean it's like for the best right it's i mean everybody's gonna understand it just still sucks because um you know you want to be able to go and they had already booked the flights and stuff and then here i am being like Sorry, I can't go. And like Dan was gonna get to go and it was gonna be his first time getting to go there. Um, so I think he's kind of sad about it too, but um, yeah, it's just what's best for Snappy. Originally, it was gonna be worse. <laughs> Originally they were, um, they, they had the earliest they could do her surgery was gonna be on the 23rd of April, which is the day of the St. Jude Summit. So that's bad enough, but also like way closer to my Play Live fundraiser. Um, and, and they were able to do it sooner because they had a cancellation. So they call us and they're like, hey, we can do your surgery like, you know, on the second instead. Um, so that was a relief, but they were gonna have to do it so much later. <laughs> and I really did not want that. <laughs> well, especially if like, she was really actively in the midst of re recovering during the beginning of my fundraiser, that would have been bad too, I think. Um, so obviously we would have done it if we had to, but. Um, is she like in a, is she stuck in a loop of these? I think so. <sighs> no weeds. No weeds. Oops. No weeds. I'm gonna have to cheat away all of her weeds because the plants are so glitched that she can't do it. Weeds, no weeds. Are we good after that? Oh, that one was dead. Oh, you can dispose of that. She's still trying to fix the bugs. She's like fully caught in a complete loop. She can't do anything. Let me see if I can fix this one. No weeds. There's still bugs though. I don't know. I don't really want to use the magic spell on it because she needs to get this skill up for work. So, just deleted the plants. I don't blame you, but she's in the gardening career. Like, what am I supposed to do? Delete her plants when she's in the gardening career. This is supposed to be the only thing she does. <laughs> Here lies Asia. Come, thank you for the subs, both of you, by the way. Um, it's just so annoying. Is it a visual glitch or are there actually bugs? It might be a visual glitch. It might be just a visual glitch. I'm not really sure. Um, okay, you can come get yourself some food. And then you, you need to get in a confident mood. Maybe you could take a thoughtful shower and see if we can do that so we can get the aspiration done. Yeah, the, um, the problem with the weeds is that they're bugged and you can't clear them. Um, like she gets stuck in a permanent loop um, where she can't do, I don't know about the bugs, but she gets stuck in like a permanent loop where she can't get rid of the weeds and then um, they don't do anything and it just stays the way it is. It's really bad. Sent to uni skill classes maybe. <laughs> That's one way to avoid it, I guess. That's one thought. Oh my god, get out of there! What is wrong with you? Go shower upstairs. And maybe you can play with the little rat. Yeah, the kid aspirations are from growing together. The teen aspirations are from uh, high school years. Oh, maybe that's her dad. Christine, maybe her parents aren't dead yet. 
Oh, they're not dead. I lied to you, Christine. Her parents are fine. Yay for them. Probably not for much longer, but they are technically still alive. So yay. Um, oh, the thoughtful shower is inspired, not confident. What am I doing trying to have her do that? I wasn't even thinking until I just now she finished it and I realized that's not right. Um, see, I'm very distracted today. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Well, once these moodlets are gone, I'll have her work on, like, sitting next to a confident lamp or something. And that'll be fine. Maybe you could make some summer crafts after this, too. Yeah, brushing teeth gives confidence, but she has these now, so the brushing teeth won't override it. So she has to wait a little bit. What's the next thing in this aspiration? Learn to ride a bike, level 3 motor skill. Oh, you know what else I can do? I can put this away again <laughs> and I can get our um, swing set back. I had that there. It was like blocking stuff even, but I had it. Snap, I can't get the alt key. Where is it? Oh my God. I literally, snap. Okay. Sorry, cat's on the keyboard a little, <laughs> um, but I, I uh, had to put that there so she could work on her stuff. Oh my God, this is dead too. <gasps> Complete fail. Can I make it alive again? Oh no. Yeah, I can, okay. Well, I did a bad job. Maybe magic to bring it back to life? <laughs> oh no. Eva, thank you for the thousand bits and silly schemes and Tundra, thank you for the subs. Eva with the tier three, 17 months. Thank you so much too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did Snap leave the cat camp? Yeah, she's on my desk. Um, she's sitting on my desk right now instead. Which is also fine. If she wants to do that, she totally can. But that's that's why she's not um, there anymore. Because she's sitting with me. I tried to put her back there, but then she came back again. It stressed me out because she forced herself to come up on my lap. So I had to pick her up and put her up here. Because she can't get up right now because she's too loopy. And then um, she tried to get onto the desk. And then she tried to get back onto my lap and almost fell off the desk. So I said, oh, go sit on your chair. And then she wanted back. So now she's being supervised on my desk so that she doesn't fall anywhere. <sighs> so this is fun, I guess. Um, lots of close attention being paid to the cat to make sure she's okay. Um, okay. I think... You, Moss, after this, honestly, you could probably just go to bed. Um. Okay. You can go to sleep now. Most of the other kids can go to sleep now. Oh, I never redid this kid's room. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> we can get a little redo. We can get a real bed now. Um. Let me think this through. I might swap this out. I'll... Honestly, we can keep a lot of this how it is. Like, I can't see the alt key on my keyboard. Um, but we'll get a real bed over here in the corner. So that you can actually sleep. You fixed the lag? Yeah, we cleared a bunch of stuff out. Um, somebody in my chat said that uh, they were having a lot of lag issues from MC Command Center Last Exceptions. And I'm wondering if that's maybe what actually made the big difference. Um, Cause I don't know, I, I clear my cache, my regular cache relatively often, but I haven't done the MC Command Center thing in a long time. So that might've been more of the issue. I kind of want to make a cat themed bedroom, but I can't press my keyboard. So I can't really build as much as I want to. I literally cannot access. Okay. I have to move snap to, <laughs> to get to press alt on my keyboard. <laughs> All of her fluff is in the way. Um, that's all right though. Sensei Command Center for you? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Well, we got it fixed. No shortcuts build challenge. Well, maybe I'll just let it be and we can we can keep playing. Um, you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. I hate when they do this. Why do you even bother napping like that? So silly. This wallpaper is just from the base game. This one's not from a pack. People have been asking about it nonstop. It seems like a wallpaper that people don't 
really know about. I can show you what the default swatch is, because that's probably why you are not familiar with it. Uh, it looks like that by default. It's like orange and brown, uh, but it comes in a nice, cute, light blue color. It's, it's kind of hidden behind an ugly default swatch, so it's easy to miss because the, the default's not so cute that you kind of forget that there's good stuff behind it. Um, H bro, it's Haiti. Thank you for the subs, both of you. Thank you so much. But there's some other swatches that are actually pretty nice. It has some good swatches. Okay, everybody to bed. Oh my god, I'm so relieved the game has cleared itself up a little bit more. I feel so much better now. Okay. Um... Hurry up. So slow. Adopt a cat. Oh, I don't know about getting another pet right now. <laughs> I need some time. I need some time without pets, I think, for the time being in this save. We have Pulp, but that doesn't count. Pulp's part of the family. But I think we need a little bit of uh, extra pet free time. <laughs> Before we go and get another one, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the triple speed's kind of messed up because we're being haunted, but that's okay. Pulp is still alive? Yeah. I keep giving her age down treats, so. Would I ever try new games on stream? Would you stick to starting with Sims? Uh, Jamie, we play other games from time to time. Um, this year we've played, obviously we play Among Us, we played a lot of City Skylines, we play Fall Guys, we played American Truck Sim on stream, we play Animal Crossing, we play Dreamlight Valley, Coral Island. Um, there are a lot of, Fae Farm I played a lot of last year, House Flipper we've been playing a lot of the past couple months. Um, so we play other games. I mostly play Sims, um, and recently I've mostly been playing Sims and Stardew. I kind of go through a like two game sort of phase where I'm playing the Sims and something else. So right now my big obsession is Stardew, <laughs> um, but it kind of comes and goes, my, my obsessions. So um, that's where we're at right now, basically. Seem to miss every other game then? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's funny that you say that because literally every day I get people that are like, why are you playing this? Play The Sims instead. And it's funny that you're here being like, play something else. <laughs> play not The Sims. Cause I appreciate that. <laughs> Normally I get um, like yelled at for playing things that aren't Sims. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fun to have someone that wants the opposite. <laughs> um, I, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, we've been big into starting recently because of the update, so. Too many games, so little time. I know, I know. There's so much that I want to stream and not as much time to play at all. Um, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, cause I can't, I can't just like stream all day cause I make a YouTube video every day. So um, it's uh, a, a pri you know, distraction priority and stuff. Um, can't wait for House Slipper to be on PlayStation. Yeah, I think you'll like House Slipper. It's really fun. Oh my God, those bills are expensive. Moss, you better be planning on getting promoted today. I'm gonna have them woohoo because their social's a bit low. So we can fix that, hopefully. Um, playing things other than Sims is your fave. I'm, I'm glad that you think so. It is fun to play um, non-Sims games from time to time. Uh, I really enjoy playing other games on stream with everybody because it's fun to hang out. Um, and sometimes it's not that like the, the bigger streams are a bad thing, but like the... Um, the other streams, like non-Sims games, are also usually kind of quieter streams, which is sometimes a fun change of pace because you're able to read more of the chat more easily. Um, so uh, that's, you know, pros and cons, I guess. <laughs> um, they're very chill, cozy, cozy streams, you know? Um, Haley, thank you for the 22 months. <laughs> thank you so much. And Nighting and Huddy, thank you both for the resubs. H Bro too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, whoa. And she poofed away. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's going to make food. What is the? No, 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 no. The workaholic lifestyle has got to be one of the most annoying things. I'm cheating that away. I'm actually not dealing with that. I'm, I'm not having a workaholic sim. I'm just not. <sighs> Thought the rug in front of the bath was a water spill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kayla, what's that gross green slime on your floor? Ew. 
It's growing. <laughs> I'm okay with the other lifestyles, but workaholic is not for me. Workaholic is really not for me. Okay. Let's go to get leftovers. You binge watch my streams. You can't wait for maternity leave because you're gonna restart my not so berry playlist. Really? That it's so cool to me. This is gonna sound so dumb when I say it, okay? I know that I make a lot of content on YouTube and Twitch, all right? I oftentimes forget that people actually watch that stuff. <laughs> like, like when people tell me, oh, I just finished watching your, your not so berry playlist on more Susie. I'm like, you actually watch that? <laughs> like, that's so cool that you like it and you watch it. And I just, cause it reminds me of when I was younger and like, I was so obsessed with these Sims YouTubers and, and like, I, you know, it's just, it's a really weird, like full circle moment for me personally, that people have that feeling about my videos, because a lot of times I kind of have in my head that I'm doing this cause I just want to, you know, like I'm just playing this cause I felt like it. <laughs> And then people are also watching it. <laughs> and that part kind of, uh, I forget about sometimes. <laughs> Which is just silly, but anyway. It's cool that people care about it and they, they like it. It's fun. It's just fun. Um, okay, you go use the bathroom again, kid, because you've got school today. I'm hoping that you'll be able to get your grades up, both of you. Um, they did a lot of school projects over the weekend. Oh, you're just dancing, Jort? Really? Oh my. <laughs> Use my VODs as background noise. That, see, because I do that, not with my VODs. I don't put my own VODs on as background noise, but I put on other people's <laughs> as background noise and it's good. I wouldn't watch my own streams. I, that's too far for me. Not really interested in that at all, but <laughs> that would be a bit strange. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any desire to go back and listen to myself for like three and a half hours or something. <laughs> no way. Okay, I'll have them all the kids study hard and see if they can get their grades up. Although you actually don't need to because you're already gonna get your grade up, but you can. And I'm gonna send you to work for real today and see if you can get your, your uh, promotion. Moss is playing games. Oh, everybody's gonna go to work today. So we're gonna have a peaceful day because we'll be alone. Oh my god, it's Peppa! Oh, it's good to see you. That's so cute. I like this little game thing, it's so silly. What a just strange item. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to call out my brother like this. I'm gonna tell you anyway. So when I went to New York City a, a couple months ago or whenever with, um, to see my friend Hope, I was there for like two days to stay at her house. Um, and my brother was watching my cat. He was cat sitting for me. And I have like cameras inside of my house and outside, but I, I don't check the inside cameras really. It was more like, oh, Brett just got back or you know, whatever, something like that. Well, I saw like person spotted kitchen camera. So I like clicked the notification and my brother, <laughs> he had brought over his VR headset. So he was playing the, the VR games in my living room. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna do that, so I just, it really like, it took me by surprise when I opened it and I see Brett just there like swinging <laughs> in the middle of the room. <laughs> it like made me laugh out loud. We were sitting at lunch and I was like, like near tears, like just, my brother's like playing Beat Saber or something <laughs> in the middle of my living room. And I see the cats like running around in the background. <laughs> Oh, he loves that thing. I got it for him for his birthday like a couple years ago and he and his friends play with it all the time. I, I played with it the day that we got it. Um, like on his birthday, we play with it like as a family, but I haven't used it since because it made me kind of nauseous. Like I was getting a little bit motion sick from it. I That happens to me a lot with stuff like that though. Like, you know, when you go to a theme park and they have rides that are like 3D where the glass is, I get a little, it's, it's kind of weird. I can't really do it. Um, so the, it's not for me. VR is not for me, but he and his friends love it. <laughs> he and his friends play it so much. I think that's really cool that they have fun with it. Um, Beat Saber is good though. Yeah, it's a fun one. I don't know that much about most VR games. Um, we played one the day that he got it. We played one where it was like, everything is white 
And you had to like, like, grab a gun and like get somebody. That sounds bad. But it was like you were trying to like get this enemy. It was like one person, super hot. Yeah, we played that one too. I don't know. I don't know much about the other games though. <laughs> but he wanted to play super hot as well. Um, so I'm glad that he likes it though. You hate that one? Yeah, it's not, that kind of thing's not for me. <laughs> Obviously, I play this kind of game. Super Hot's not for me, but they think it's fun, so I'm glad that he likes it. I'm glad it's fun for him. That was definitely one of the best things I've gotten him ever for his birthday ever. Like that, he loved it. He was so excited about that. And he still uses it all the time. I feel like for some people, the VR stuff's kind of a gimmick. Like they don't really care about it that much. They only use it sometimes, but he plays it a lot, so. Your dad uses his VR headset to look at historical places. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. <laughs> That is really, really, really cool. I, I love that. Um, my brother is 20, lovely. He got it, we got it for him for his 18th birthday, I think, a couple years ago. Um, Brett's 20, so. Such a dad thing to look at historical places on your VR headset, that's so cool. <laughs> um, I would do that, I would do that. Why is he old? My brother, I know. I know. Imagine how I feel. Makes me kind of uncomfortable. So, I was looking at pictures the other day, cause you know how your phone gives you like, you know, featured photos and stuff? I was looking at pictures the other day um, and that it was like popping up with on my phone. And it was a picture of me and Brett from when I was in high school. And he was like only like this much taller than me. And that was so funny because now he's like this much taller than me. <laughs> um, which is just so silly because he, you know, he's a tall person. And he's a boy, so of course he is. But yeah, it's really weird that um, he's <laughs> just. I still think of him as like my. I still think of him as like my little baby brother, you know. Even though he hasn't been for a long time, so it's just kind of weird when they grow up. <laughs> your sister is seven years older than you, and in your in her head, you're still nine. Yeah, that's how I think about my sister too. Um, no, me and Brett aren't twins. He's uh, he's like four and a half years younger than me. But always baby brother, always baby brother, no matter how old you get, sorry. Your brother's about to get married and in your head he's definitely eight. Yeah, I can imagine that's really weird. Your like younger siblings getting married and stuff. It was very weird for me when they graduated high school. I was like, how did this happen? How did you get to this point? Like, yeah, I'm the oldest and my sister Shanna's the youngest, Tina. Um, how tall are you? I'm like five five. Um, you're five three and your brother is six feet. It's so humbling. <laughs> That's such a funny way of putting it. Oh, hi, Shanna. We were just talking about you. I was talking about how you're a child. She's 18. I think of you as being a child, at least. <laughs> Shanna, Snappy's been on the cat cam all day. She's not on the cat cam right now. She's on my desk. Um, but Snappy's sitting on my desk asleep. I can't really use my keyboard, so... We're, we're playing with our mouse only. Okay. Well, the kids are gonna get home from school like right now. So we'll see what their grades are. And maybe I'll take them to the park or something and see how that goes. There you go. Grades are up. I just had this feeling of like, oh, I can age you up now. <laughs> no, they don't even have A's for this, the 100 baby challenge. Not, not so very, Kayla. <laughs> wrong save, wrong save. Um, you think I have tall girl vibes? Really? Thank you. That's really kind of you to say. Um, no, I'm perfectly average-ish, I guess. Am I dropping frames? Oh yeah, a lot of them. Come back. My OBS is red. Hold on, I can't type. Snap. I'm lagging. Okay, I can't fix it. <laughs> I don't know what, why it's happening this much. It might come back. It's on my end. Thought I was kind of tall in the wedding dress video. Oh, cause I was standing on a platform in that video and you can't see the platform cause it's like underneath the dress. So that probably is part of it. 
Oh dear, I think it's gotten worse. Hmm. Oh, Twitch, are we back? No, it's still flashing red. I tried to come back and see if it would fix it. I don't know if you can see me. I'm back. Okay, it's in the green right now. I tried to like, I stopped the stream and tried to come back. And then I got this pop up that said, could not access the specified channel or stream key. Please double check your stream key. If it is correct, there may be a problem connecting to the server. Yeah. So I think it's a Twitch server problem. It's not my internet because my I can see everything fine. It's like a Twitch server. It won't work. <laughs> so I don't know why, but um, Dan lag too. Oh, weird. But yeah, it's not my internet though. That's the thing because my internet's fine. So I don't really understand. Twitch has just been weird. Like in the past couple weeks with stuff like this. I feel like it seems fine. So let's try and just tell people to refresh and see if we're okay. Why are we having so many issues today? Oh wait, did it die again? Oh, but I'm not dropping frames. If it lagged again, it's definitely on his on Twitch's end, not mine. Twitch is mad at me right now. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been having, it's just generally, there's been a lot of issues with Twitch and OBS lately. So it's not just, uh, not just us. It's been kind of a thing recently. Um, and hopefully it calms down. Okay, I'm gonna buy a, a jungle gym. It might be good. It might be good. I don't know. We'll see. I can't really do anything about it, so. All we can do is hope that it fixes itself, and it stops. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, it's- Twitch is not thriving. Kind of rude of them to do this. I guess we haven't had, like, a complete stream break. Like, it hasn't, like, completely broken like that in a while, so... But, like, first the game was broken, now this. <laughs> How much more are we gonna have to deal with? Okay, can you psych yourself up? Maybe brush your teeth? I'm gonna see if we can get her to be confident for this. No, cause she's just standing there. You wanna try again? Yeah, there you go. That's not a jungle gym. Oh, that's just monkey bars. I forgot that we need an actual jungle gym. Well, I'm gonna get monkey bars for now. We're gonna go to the park. I have to do this first. Oh my God, it's doing it again. Oh no. Twitch! I don't know how to fix it. I'm gonna type, I have to type on mobile too because I can't type on my PC because my cat's covering the keyboard. Okay. Hmm. Not meant to stream today, yeah, apparently not. Um. I can't even get to my own chat so I can type to you all. You refresh and it's better? Oh, it's back again. Oh, maybe it's fine then. I don't know. I don't know. Some people were saying that you have to close Twitch and like completely reopen it. I don't know if that's true, but... <sighs> okay. Well, again, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just gonna mind my own business and see what happens. She has those lot traits. I'm just gonna say that she's fine. Okay, now our next step is to go to the park. We're all gonna go together. That's what you do and it's been working. Yeah, completely closing and reopening Twitch. Isn't that ridiculous though? Whatever, Twitch. That's what you need, that's fine. I'm very sad that today has gone so badly. <laughs> it's like, first the game doesn't work, now the the Twitch servers aren't working. It's like one thing after another, everything's, everything's going wrong. <laughs> no, I don't use Streamlabs, I, I just use regular OBS. Um, I don't have Streamlabs OBS. 
kind of cursed today, but we'll see if it gets better. If it gets really bad and it keeps happening, I may end early, but hopefully that was a fluke and it's done. I just want to play my Sims. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Uh, Custard, thanks for the 33 months. And Caro and Corgi, thank you for the subs too. Okay. Oh, you needed to plan this while you were playful. You were playful before. Play pirate. Play pirate. I want to have you practice riding a bike. I'm going to get you a bike. It's doing it again. Oh my god. Well, I don't know what to do. It's fine for you. Is it fine? If it's fine for some people and not everybody, what does that even mean? I don't understand this at all. Yeah, and it's happening like every two minutes. Let me message Dan and see if it's happening to him too. Some people said it was. Um, but I don't know. It's fine for you? Okay. I mean, look what I'm looking at. Red. Dropped frames. 17%. <laughs> That's pretty bad. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, cross your fingers that everything's gonna be fine. Oh, now you're playful. Okay, I guess that's good. You now wanna get level five motor skill and then practice typing for four hours. Keep refreshing every few seconds. Oh, you have to refresh every few seconds? Oh, look, she has a blue helmet. Automatically, I didn't even put that there. <laughs> Well, there. That's cute. Oh, now they're saying oh no again. I think it's like really off and on working, which is bad. But only some people are- people are saying it's fine? I don't understand. Maybe when they say it's fine, they're like super delayed. So they're like listening to me be like, oh no, it's broken, but like from a while ago. Oh no. Yeah, I think that what I'm seeing is causing a serious, I think there's a serious delay. So the latency is probably really bad. <laughs> um, okay, how about this? When you hear me say this, say banana, okay? This is how I'm gonna find out if we're okay or not. Because it's currently 6.04 p.m. I'll let you know when I see the first banana. Because if it's like really bad, then... <laughs> There's one! First banana, that's not that bad. Okay. Okay, it wasn't... It's not terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Okay. Well, that hopefully helps. <laughs> Like 30 something seconds, probably latency. I don't know. It looks like I'm back in the green right now. So I'll, I'll keep at it and we'll see what happens. If it stays bad, then we'll go. How about that? Now everybody else is getting it. Okay, so some people are getting it like really late. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's not fine. Oh man, it's like a whole minute. <sighs> maybe we could try, everybody, if you try to like close the stream and refresh again, maybe see if that fixes it, I don't know. Um, see if we can get it to be okay. All right, well, I'm loading back home. I'm sorry, chat. I'm really sorry. Just join what's happening. We're having some bad lag problems, apparently. <laughs> We're having some lag issues today. Um, literally lag in game, lag on stream, lag, lag, lag. Everywhere we go, <laughs> everything's lagging. Not thriving. <laughs> Is it worse on mobile? Um, typically the latency is worse on mobile, yeah. 
uh, on an average day. That tends to be the case. So. <laughs> Even my cat is lagging. <laughs> Sorry, that's such a mean way of describing it. My cat's like feeling a bit like woozy because of her medication. I call her, I say she's lagging. <laughs> Stream lag, cat lag, game lag. <laughs> that's so mean. Poor Snappy. She is completely asleep. She's like, I'm petting her and she's not like even flinching. She's like totally knocked out. So. Refreshing really helped. Okay, so maybe it's better now. Maybe we're maybe we're through the worst of it. It might be okay again. Um, mods, can we tell the chat to refresh again and like maybe fully exit and come back and see if that fixes it? Um, I don't know. I can't type. I would type it myself, but I can't. My cat's on the keyboard. Um, but I can see your pinned message, Chili. I, I saw it worked. Um, okay, to just for a latency check, um, say banana again. <laughs> <laughs> no, say cow plant this time. Sorry, something different. Maybe the, the first bananas are gonna be like, wow, I'm so delayed. No, yeah, it's fine. We're back. We're back. It's instant again. We're back. All is well. Okay, I see you all. We should be okay then. That's a relief. <laughs> all is well. Okay. Do any of you want to come refill Pulp's thingy? Oh, and Pulp's got fleas again. Hold on. Um, maybe give Pulp a bath? Yeah, this happens. You might have seen a lot of it in chat before I asked for you. That just means your latency is a bit different. It depends both on your internet and my internet. So, my like, mine seems to be good right now, but yours might be worse or, like, still super delayed. It's hard to say. Um, okay. Yeah, people are gonna come in and think there's like a giveaway or something. <laughs> there's no giveaway, I'm just talking to chat, we're trying to figure out the latency. <laughs> there's nothing, no, nothing exciting like that happening. We're just, <laughs> we're just trying to fix the stream. That's all. Okay. Whoa, the way that she can teleport is so funny. <laughs> it always makes my day. Okay. I might have you come and uh, brew up one more potion so I can finish this part of the aspiration and then we'll go back. Ew, are you eating spoiled pizza? Stop, stop, stop! Oh, you're very silly. Don't do that. Okay. No, they're not gonna have any more kids. I can't handle any more kids. Three's plenty. No, no more kids than that. No more kids than that. Potion of nausea to annoy an enemy and turn their stomach. Ooh, fun, let's make that. Okay, or teleport away. <laughs> teleport back. <laughs> the reason why Susie asked for banana is because she is secretly rooting for Nifia Win to win this season of Drag Race. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. I like everybody on this season of Drag Race right now, but um, my top picks are, are Nymphia and Sephira, so I think I want Sephira to win over Nymphia. I'm sorry about that, but that's how I feel. Um, I think we're supposed to yell at you if you consider adding another. Yeah, I think I told people that. I think I said, if I think about having another kid, don't let me. Three is plenty. Three is plenty. Milestone complete. Well, I finished the whole thingy again. So I think I got another reward. Master mixer, so we rarely fail when mixing up potions. I did two of these spellcaster aspirations, by the way. Slinger of spells. She's doing great. She is gonna become an adult, which is kind of sad. I'll have to pick a new aspiration. I say it's kind of sad. That's it's perfectly normal. It's just that, you know, when Sims start getting older, they're like on their way out. <laughs> no, you can't do the same aspiration more than once. Um, you can just do the aspiration one time each. Adulthood? No. <laughs> no more kids allowed. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. No more of that. So that on YouTube too? Yeah, in, I, in my legacies, both of them right now. I'm like, do not let me have more kids. I'm done. I've had enough. <laughs> 
I've had enough. No more of that. No more of that. Let me save the game. Uh-oh. Alphabet's birthday. You have a sim named Jort? That's cursed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Your chat's your chat's delayed for real too. Still, uh oh. Yeah, the stream's ruined. <laughs> At this point, the stream's ruined. Um, it is what it is. Okay, well, we'll let them sleep. We'll see what we can do. You only have one more kid in your YouTube legacy, though. Oh, I meant like in the last generation. Um, we were talking about that. In YouTube, I want to have one more kid. We're gonna have two total, I think. But we're close to having the next one. When you have science babies, it's kind of scary because you basically have them instantaneously, instantaneously. Um, and there's not a lot of time to prepare. It's just all of a sudden you've got an infant in your house and then it's short lifespan. So it just, life comes at you fast. <laughs> That's you in real life with kids. That's me in real life with cats. I'm like, we don't need any more pets. I got three cats. That's plenty, plenty of cats. I live in a cat house. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> we have a lot going on. Could you imagine if Tinker had triplets? Or if we had like twins by accident with a science baby? Oh my God. I do not want that at all. Four cats is not that much, not that much worse than three cats. Ew. Uh-uh, I got enough. I've got enough. You want another cat? I, I think about that sometimes. But I would never actually get another cat. I got plenty of cats. We're, we're still uh, raising all of these kittens anyway, <laughs> so. You wish you could foster? Yeah, I've thought about that a lot. After um, the experience that we had with like rescuing the kittens, I thought a lot about fostering. I, I think that I would be a good candidate for like what Owen does. Um, my friend Arcadia Bay's in the chat. Um, Owen has little baby baby kittens right now, like really young kittens. Um, and, and I just think that's really cool. And I feel like that's something that I could feasibly do. Cause again, I'm home all the time. Like, um, I have a good schedule, but you have a weird collection of pets right now. Two cats, one hamster, two lizards, and three foster kittens. I love that though. <laughs> that's just so cool. Um, but yeah, I thought a lot about fostering for a long time. Um, and then now after this, I'm like, well, I totally could do that. I just don't think I should do that right now with what Snap's dealing with. I say like Snap because she's on my desk, but um, yeah, I've thought about it, so. Anyone know why I don't get ads? I'm not something I've been watching for like a year and have not once gotten an ad. Oh, don't, shh, help don't, don't tell him that. You're lucky. You're like the chosen one. Sometimes I don't know um, how Twitch decides who they send ads to, but not everybody gets ads. Um, so <laughs> you are quite literally the chosen one. Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell him. Don't jinx it. <laughs> you won't actually like cause a problem by saying it, but it's like, don't put it out in the universe, you know? No one needs to know that you're not getting any. Oh, you have a smoothie, Christine? That sounds good. Oh, sorry for yawning. Oh my God. I, <laughs> we had a rough night. I was awake in the middle of the night multiple times and like so early because of the cat, so bear with me. But um, I need to buy groceries. I think I need to order groceries tonight. We have like no food in the house. Um, so I need to do that. Okay, you didn't really need to cook food, you know, because you can spawn yourself food. Look at this. I can make magic food. Watch. Oh my God, are you gonna eat or not? What's wrong with you? You're gonna be grave and go into the grocery store tomorrow? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not, I don't intend to leave the house right now because of my cat. Uh, she cannot be left unattended and I don't wanna go to the grocery store alone. So I'm gonna order groceries. Oh, and that's fun. You should do it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just order some groceries. It seems like a valid time to do that, you know? I do actually kind of like going to the grocery store a lot of the time. It's, it's a very fine line between the grocery store is overstimulating to me and the grocery store is a, a nice outing because I don't go out very much. So I only go to the store pretty much. 
Um, but it's like, we have to be in and out. Like there needs to be a plan and we gotta be quick because otherwise it becomes too much, you know? It depends also what day it is because <laughs> there are times where it's better, so. Oh, really busy mouse, that's fun. We have farmer's markets here um, that me and Dan go to the farmer's market a lot on the weekends. Um, I quite like going to the farmer's market. I think it's nice. Um, but, and it's open year round because I live in Florida, which is lucky. Ooh, fish tacos, absolutely vile. Okay, let's bathe pulp again. Um, give pulp a bath. You go to the nice store only only when no one is there. Oh, it's nice to go to the store when no one is there. Oh, in my head I was like, yeah, the nice store is Trader Joe's and I only go there when no one's around. <laughs> you gotta like time your Trader Joe's uh, shopping. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you go to that place. <laughs> scary, scary stuff. Um, it's uh, it's fun and it's nice, but. Only, only so much of it can, you can only handle so much, you know? Um, you leave the house to go to the store, to go on a walk or go to the bookstore? Yeah, yeah. Me and Dan, um, we go to the bookstore after the farmer's market a lot. We usually hit both at the same time, which typically is most Saturdays. I don't always buy something, but we, we spend a lot of time at the bookstore. <laughs> Um, there's like a local bookstore, uh, kind of by the farmer's market, um, like an indie bookstore and we spend a lot of time in there. <laughs> so it's just nice to browse, you know, see what's, what's going on. Um, what's new, what are they recommending? It's just good vibes when you go over there, you know? So, um, I like it. Yeah. I'm reading Percy Jackson right now on Breakable, but to be honest, I've not made much progress. The past three nights in a row, I fell asleep reading my book which never happens to me. Usually I like, reading makes me like more awake most of the time, but it's been a long couple of days. So the past three nights I've fallen asleep reading Percy Jackson. It's because me and Dan usually both read before bed and Dan's like, oh, I've got, you know, like this special for my chapter. So I was like, oh, I'll read another one. I had a six minute long chapter. Okay, I'm on my Kindle. I fell asleep in between me deciding to start the next chapter. <laughs> And this, it said six minutes. I fell asleep. <sighs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> For some reason, the, this Percy Jackson book is, uh, it's putting me to bed, but I like Percy Jackson. It's been fun to reread because I loved it so much when I was a kid. Um, I've been, I've only read, I'm on the third one. I only read the first two. I read them a couple months ago. I've been like one a month kind of, I've been reading Percy Jackson and then mostly other stuff. Um, so I'm not that far into the series right now. I've been reading a lot of Cassandra Clare again this month, <laughs> which is maybe a little embarrassing. I'm in my like rereading books I used to be obsessed with era, and I was obsessed with Cassandra Clare in high school. Obsessed. You guys have no idea. I'll never admit this, but maybe I will anyway. I used to have a Instagram account where me and my friend shared it. We would post <laughs> quotes <laughs> from Cassandra Clare's books. <laughs> So stupid, so stupid. Um, but I used to be obsessed with, with her books when I was younger. So I've been rereading a lot of the Shadowhunters books for the past month, um, which has been kind of fun because it's been a while since I read them. So I've enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> you think our high school selves were similar? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're off to work, sorry. I feel to, oh, we're all off to work. I didn't take care of any of our needs. I've been talking too much. Whoops, sorry. Um, CMS, Lacey, Breezy, thanks for the subs. You also read it in high school, really? Yeah. It's good. Oh, hi, Snappy. Hello, you're awake? She stretched and touched me. You touched my arm? Would you want me to put you back on your chair? Oh, you aren't allowed to stand up. Stop, 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 stop. Hold on. Sorry, chat, hold on. <laughs> I gotta put her on the chair. You cannot jump down. You're not allowed, you're not allowed. Oh my God, snap, stop. Okay, let's go to the chair together, yeah? As a group. There you go. <sighs> she started to stand up, I got stressed. I don't want her to fall off. She's really wobbly. Oh, she left. Okay, she's gone back to the food bowl again. 
I'm back, sorry. She may go back to her chair, I'm not sure. She can do whatever she wants, she just cannot get off the desk by herself. <laughs> that is the one rule. This thing is fine, because you have stairs, but anywhere else you need to be supervised. Um, okay. Quick field trip to get a little snack, apparently. There can't be much food left in that bowl. I can't see it because she's blocking it with her face, but there can't be much food left in there. Um, I signed a coffee duty. Sure, whatever. Performance gain medium. Oh, not bad. We should get promoted today then. Oh, we're gonna max the career today. Well, that's good. That makes things easier. Nice. Nice. Like a toddler who snap? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> she basically is. Uh, oh, where did that blue duck come from? I must have given that to one of the kids and they put it down, but I don't remember that. Why is it called the Not So Berry Challenge? Um, if you weren't around on like Sims Tumblr in 2016, this is not gonna make any sense to you. Um, but there is a trend called uh, berry sims, which which people still do, but used to be a way bigger thing. And a berry sim, if you made like a strawberry sim, imagine like pink skin, pink hair, pink outfit, strawberry vibes, like you really commit to the whole berry sim thing. Um, and not so berry is like a play on berry sims, but like they're not completely berry sims. They're just green. <laughs> like, like moss is not really a berry sim, but you know, has a whole color theme going on. So it's like Berry Sim Light a little bit. It's just kind of a play on it. It, it would have made more sense back then, um, but it's basically, it's a rainbow themed legacy, but that's what it's based on is the idea of Berry Sims. So the blue kids are more like Berry Sims because they have blue skin. <laughs> um, they ended up blue because their mom's a green spellcaster, but yeah, that's kind of what it means. And it's kind of a cute name for a challenge too, I don't know. It's it's just, it's a little uh, confusing for people at times because at this point, it's sort of like taken on a life of its own. Like <laughs> the challenge has been around for so long and like people know about it and they've played it. They don't even know that I made it. And like, they don't know the Barry Sim reference. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just, uh, when we wrote it at the time, me and my friend Zoe, we didn't know that anybody was gonna do it. You know, it was just like, this will be fun for us two to do together or something. Um, and then it became like a whole thing. <laughs> so, kind of on its own. <laughs> There's like extended versions and stuff people have made too, but me and my friend Always Simming made the original version. Um, a lot of people watch my channel and don't know that I made it. And that's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we wrote it in like 2017. I was in high school still at the time, which is funny. But yes, it was a long time ago. Okay, you finished showering. You're, oh, is it because it's hot in here? Oh, sorry. You can turn the thermostat down. It's actually really hot and the, oh, you can't turn the thermostat down. Oh, sorry, never mind. Not for you then. Um, think that's how, I, how you found my channel, really? Oh, and that's actually kind of cool. Um, I know that some people found my channel because like, um, sometimes like a YouTuber would make a series playing Not So Berry and then people would like find me that way. Um, not that many people, but sometimes I hear that. <laughs> Remember when I published the challenge? Do you really? <laughs> I don't want you to be ambitious, Moss. I'm sorry. We got promoted to Startup Genius. We're level 10 officially of the career. We got a 5,000 simoleon bonus, a Plasmatron 3,000 flat screen TV, and the ability to brag about our startup. And Snap just went over to the door, so she's gonna try and get out of my room and she's not allowed out of the room. So if you hear anyone uh, whining, well, that's the cat. Oh, I can't really use this one because it's like too big. Okay, I'll just sell it. At least we unlocked it fair and square now, you know? 8,500. I don't wanna sell it, I wanna use it. It just doesn't size down to a good size. Should I put it really small, maybe? I don't know, Moss is a one-star celebrity again? Oh. 
You found me when I built the good luck Charlie house in The Sims. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Listen to this era, okay? You're not gonna believe this, chat. A couple of years ago, Jason Dolly, who plays PJ on Good Luck Charlie, he started streaming on Twitch and, and streaming a lot on Twitch. He was playing a lot of Fall Guys and he was really good at Fall Guys. I don't know how we found him. Maybe he raided me and we were like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> when I was playing Fall Guys? But we ended up uh, raiding Jason Dolly a couple times back. And then he was like, you wanna play Fall Guys together? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So we started playing Fall Guys with Jason Dolly sometimes. And the guy, he would win like every single round. So we were getting like super carried by Jason Dolly and Fall Guys squads, okay? And then I did a video where I built the Good Luck Charlie house in The Sims. And I was like, hey, Jason, do you want to be in the video? So I, he was in the speed build. And I was like showing him the Good Luck Charlie house in the speed build. I'm dead serious. But that was our Disney Channel era. <laughs> that was a while ago. Um, but we did do that. And he was in the video. He hasn't streamed in a while. No, he's not been live in a long time. I don't know what he's been up to. He might be like working. Like he might have a uh, an acting gig or something right now. Um, I'm not sure. I did do that for iCarly too. Um, for that, I was actually sponsored by by iCarly for the new iCarly. Um, they they paid me to build like sets. Um, from like the iCarly set in The Sims, and we did a stream doing it. And then they had Miranda, Miranda Cosgrove from a video being like, check out Lil Susie. <laughs> so there's footage of Miranda Cosgrove being like, check out Lil Susie, <laughs> which is so funny. Um, but she wasn't like in the video. They just had her uh, say that for a clip. Um, but I did do that too. When the, the iCarly, I mean, it was like season two of the new iCarly reboot came out. I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's Miv's raid alert for me. Yeah. But the thing is, Christine, it's not a raid alert for me. You can't, um, set raid alerts for individual people. So what Miv did was make a raid alert that has like a high view count minimum. <laughs> because the only person that raids her with that many viewers is me. So when I raid her, it's like Miranda Cosgrove saying, Lil Susie, thank you. <laughs> It's not actually just me, um, it's, but, you know, <laughs> it's kind of funny, it is kind of funny, um, where did the cat go? Oh, she's back, oh, hello, snap, okay, we can have cat cam again, you can see her bald now, I don't think you're doing too hot right now, you're a little... Woozy. I can just see it based on how you're moving. You're <laughs> oh my. Good luck, Charlie premiered 14 years ago today. Wait, did it really? Oh my god, and we're sitting here talking about it on- Yeah, it was April 4th, 2010. Oh, that's so weird, and we're talking about it right now. <laughs> 14 years is kind of, that's upsetting actually a little bit. But today, happy anniversary, good luck Charlie. That's kind of cool. And upsetting, but kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's kind of a shocking number actually. When you put it like that. You can keep working on your bike riding. I used to love good luck Charlie. It was a good show. Isn't the good luck Charlie, I'm sorry, Kayla, you're being divisive. I was gonna say, but don't yell at me. Isn't the good luck Charlie mom like a kind of scary anti-vaxxer? I'm sorry I brought it up. They're gonna, I'm gonna ban people now. But yeah, I think she's really scary and horrible. I don't follow her or pay attention to her, but I think she turned out real bad, which is sad. But like none of the rest of them interact with her. I've seen videos on TikTok of the person who plays Gabe and the guy who plays the dad. Like they have like a podcast or something. Like I've seen them doing stuff together now um, or like filming videos together at least, but like nobody interacts with the mom. <laughs> it's like a cooking show, that's what it is. They have like a cooking show, yeah. But no one talks about that lady. I don't even know her name. Um, but isn't that kind of funny? 
I'm gonna have to ban people now. Well, you'd be surprised. The thing is, you just say the word vaccine and these people come out of nowhere. It's really scary. <laughs> they just show up and start yelling at me because I said the word vaccine and I'm actually not kidding. Like, <laughs> you make one little offhand joke about an anti-vaxxer and then it's like, whoa. <laughs> Scary's in the chat. <laughs> but they, they, it hasn't happened yet. But I'm actually not exaggerating. It's bad. You'd be shocked. Um, okay, so would you care to come get some food now, kid? You don't have to keep playing with the bikes. And then we'll probably just go to bed because you're really tired somehow, accidentally. Oh, I knew that too, Minecraft. I knew that one too. It's, it's really sad to have like um, people from, like, shows that you love, or, like, like, actors and actresses that you looked up to when you were younger turn out to be, like, you know, yikes. <laughs> There's, um, what is his name? On the early seasons of Drag Race, uh, for, like, the first six seasons, one of the judges was a guy called Santino Rice. Scary anti-vaxxer, pro-Trump, like, nightmare man on Twitter. Ooh, boo! Like, he turned out really bad these days. It's, like, really bad. <laughs> um, it's, it's really bad. Oh, there's one. <laughs> we had to ban an anti-vaxxer. I told you! There's always one. Maybe more. <laughs> But anyway, um, yes, Santino Rice turned out rough. I say that because me and Dan have been watching season six and seven of Drag Race the past few weeks. Um, and yeah, we, he like, Dan always rants about how much he hates Santino Rice. <laughs> when he comes on screen, Dan gets like mad. <laughs> Which is funny. I get it, I relate, but. <laughs> okay, would you like to make some more food? I'm actually not making food, I'm spawning food, I guess you could say, but any little bit counts. Um, okay, use the bathroom, take a shower, there you go. Santino from Project Runway? Maybe. I'm not sure I haven't seen it. That would probably, that would probably check out. I think so. Um, same person? Yeah, I haven't seen that though. From season two, there you go. Okay, do you want to come use the bathroom so that you can get ready? Because I would like to have you go outside and finish a project also for a bit. Um, you love the cat cam? Yeah, she's being kind of cute. She's just sitting there. This isn't very gruesome. You can't really see her scar, but you can see part of her shaving. Look at how her eyes are. Oh my god, she's so just... Again, she's heavily medicated. You can kind of tell. <laughs> she's... She's kind of funny right now. She looks a bit grumpy. Yeah, she also looks just like she's not all there. No one's home. Lights are on, no one's home. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I'm making fun of you and filming you, Snap. I'm really sorry. She's just loopy. <laughs> this is- this is for the best, because then she's not in pain, so... <laughs> Sanders, uh, Axe, and Dancer, and CMS, and Lacey, and Breezy, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Just makes you feel bad, you know? <laughs> okay, you can come to sleep. I'm gonna have your siblings come feed this stuff. Fill food, play with. You can use the bathroom. Me and my hypermobile neck could use a pretty neck pillow. Yeah, see, it's good for her, to be honest. She looks cute when she sleeps in it. So, okay, you go to bed too. Come on, kids. Everybody off to bed. Honestly, you too, Moss. I know it's early, but I'm ready for us to go to the next day. We have to now focus on primarily the aspiration and the mixology skill with Moss. Those are our next big things. Um, she's a delicate little flower who can do no wrong. Oh my god, I have a story. I probably shouldn't even tell you this. Um, there's this person who used to be a Twitch streamer called Jay Cyrus that used to be a Viner. 
okay? And then he became a Twitch streamer. And then he got kind of like run off Twitch for being kind of problematic with his community. I don't really know what happened that closely. Anyway, he's dating Doja Cat now. What? I don't know. Well, get this. This one time, I met him in person because he was friends with like Chris Melberger and some people that um, I know. And I met him in person at TwitchCon in like 2018. And the first thing he said to me, he called me a delicate little flower out loud to my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, people are weird. <laughs> and then he turned out really weird. But I could have told you that based on that interaction. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. You had a physical reaction to that. I know. Imagine how I felt. Ugh, cringe. <laughs> but yeah, now he's eating Doja Cat. So. When I found that out, when I saw a picture of them two together, you, if I, you have no idea the like shock that went through my mind when, when I saw that. I was like, there, no, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, sorry. I just, you said delicate little flower in it. It brought me back. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, Elva. Oh no, I missed your birthday. I'm sorry, I gotta fix my hair. Well, now you're gonna be upset because I didn't make you a birthday cake. What, Tilly? I'm sorry. Now she's just standing outside. You, ca you have to stop trying to make pizza. You have got to stop trying to make pizza. It's really annoying. Now you're sad and dazed because you're getting mental fog. Oh my God. Take a break or exercise some creative skills. What are you doing to my Sim? Nothing, Christine, she's fine. Yes, I forgot her birthday. Yes, she's in a bad mood. It happens. Everybody feels burnt out from time to time. It's perfectly normal. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> okay, bedtime. Bedtime again. Let's go. Sleep. Oh, you know what else you can do? Is you can start, like, using your magic powers to repair my stuff. I've been having them, like, repair it for real, but I don't really need to do that. We have, like, a repair spell. <laughs> we can use that very easily. I don't think she did, though. His <laughs> snap is dazed. Yeah. <laughs> You left Stardew open all day, came back to your PC to play more Stardew, and the window is still up. Your Discord status says you've been playing Stardew Valley for nine hours. <laughs> That's really funny, Miv. I mean, I've been playing The Sims on and off since like 8.30 this morning, because I was recording all day. So it, it's fine. I close the game to like take thumbnail screenshots and like, like export like recordings and stuff. Um, so you can't tell, but it, I play the Sims pretty much all day as well. <laughs> I do close it in between because I'm doing other stuff, but I, I keep the Sims open a lot. Okay, use the bathroom, take a shower. You've had a good day, Miv. I was listening to Miv's stream for a little bit earlier and she was talking about how she streamed this morning playing Stardew and then she was gonna come back later today to, to stream more Stardew and do two Stardew streams in one day. And I get that. I understand. I, I really understand where you're coming from with that. <laughs> it's just so fun. Do streamers play video games in their off time? Yeah, I think most of them do. To be honest, Cookie, it's rare that I play games right now that I don't stream. Cause I, when I wanna play a game, like this week, I could have canceled stream yesterday cause of my cat's surgery, right? I said, eh, I kinda wanna farm. So I just streamed anyway. You know, I think that a lot of streamers have that sort of mindset where it's like, well, it's more fun to stream. So I might as well stream myself playing this, but it's also fun to have games that you play off stream. It kinda just depends. Um, I'm not really playing a lot of games off stream right now because I've been reading a lot off stream and also I 
when I'm not streaming, I've been sitting downstairs with my cat, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think most streamers do a little bit of both, I guess. Um, you're not a Minecrafter? No, I'm not. I was on a an SMP. I did a hardcore SMP this year, and then I died to an Enderman in the in the end. So, yeah. <laughs> I was, to be honest, I was kind of trying to like figure out a way. Or, like, I was kind of trying to test fate a little bit. Because I, if I just, like, hung around and, and, like, stuck to my little house, I would never have died. But I, I tried to tempt fate a little bit. And then everybody else on the server, all of these real Minecrafters, they laughed at me because I died to an Enderman. Not, like, laughed at me, but they did laugh at me a little bit. Not in a mean way, but, like, in a, you know, you died to an Enderman. Get it together. <laughs> um, but that was kind of fun. I, I got invited to my, by my friend Scott, and I've never been on a SMP before. I've never really streamed Minecraft with people before or anything, so... When was that? Um... Like, last year? I don't remember when exactly. Some point last year. It was short-lived. It was only for a couple of weeks or something, I don't remember. Um, Scott's major! Yeah, Spoon. Yeah. Um... I know for some of you that's like a shocking crossover, but me and Scott have been friends for a long time. <laughs> um, since like 2017 or something. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but <laughs> um, I have known Scott for a long time, yeah. I've, I've been to stay at his house many times. Me and Dan met in person for the first time at like events with Scott. Scott used to be roommates with someone that was like, that knew Dan in real life. Um, so that's how me and Dan kind of met. It's because of that friend group, so. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but, <laughs> um, that, me, me and Scott go way back, so. Okay, would you like to mop the floor, maybe? You always know everyone I watch. Well, a lot of people in the gaming community know each other, don't they? Um, so that makes sense. Um. Especially, I think The Sims and, like, that group of Minecrafters have a lot of overlap. Um, the, like, the British Simmers and the British Minecrafters, long-time friends. So. <laughs> Is this the same house layout from your no-color challenge? Um, I posted a speed build on YouTube of this, and I probably called it, like, building an all-green house or something, but, um... It, it is that house, yeah, if you saw that one. Um, okay, well, Pulp's being kind of weird, so. Do you want to stop eating that trash, please? Stop. I know, look at her. She's... <laughs> oh, snappy. Did you see my very good idea? No, let me check your chat history. I'm kind of scared. Now that there's eight player Stardew multiplayer, some of the Among Us group and I should have a little farm co-op. Oh, that's not a bad idea. You do have to be careful with that though, cause like what if there's more than eight people that want to play? We gotta, we have to like gauge interest and make sure nobody gets left out. Um, because that would be really sad. I would feel very bad if that happened. Um, but that is kind of a cute idea. Um, infinite farmhand mod. Are there mods that let you have more than that? Because I guess that's possible. We might want to um, pose the suggestion to the group. But they had a Minecraft server. I forget when they were playing on it. But a lot of the Among Us group had a Minecraft server they used for a while, like last year. And it might have been like during my fundraiser or like leading up to my fundraiser. So I just didn't really have time to play and I was sad to miss it. But they should play Minecraft again because I would play Minecraft too. Um, I would like that. Um, okay. Would you like to use the bathroom? You have school in a second, so we gotta get ready. Oh, you never showered. Oh no. Oh, you're gonna go to school all stinky. I'm sorry. 
I did a bad job. We can do another Minecraft server. Yeah, I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun to do another Minecraft server. I would play. I would play. Denim and Jort become teens in four days. So probably next stream, I guess, they'll age up into teens. Um, it's it's co-op in starting multiplayer. You aren't like working against each other. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a, what a look you've got going on there, huh? Um, okay, would you like, maybe you could work from home today, because I would like for you to try and get your logic skill up a little bit. You don't have work today at all, so I'm gonna make you work on mixology. Practice making drinks, okay. Skill building. Okay. Oh, Lucky Ducky, I'm so sorry. I'm honestly, I, the feeling of that after looking forward to it all day is so sad. You should make him go out. Oh, sorry, you're husky. I thought you said it was your husband. <laughs> I read it as your husband ate all of the, the cookies you were looking forward to. You're talking about your husky. I was gonna say you should go out and have make your husband get you more. No, the dog can't go to the store. Well, that's even worse. <laughs> I was fully going to say, go send the husky out. Make him go get you some more food. <laughs> I, I don't know why I read it as husband. <laughs> I am sure you meant your dog. I'm sorry that your dog did that to you. That's evil. I'm sending you a little something I thought you might enjoy. Let's see each other again soon, okay? Oh, that's my Sims dad. <laughs> the music that I'm playing, Jojo, is from the Sims 2 soundtrack that we've got in the background. So that's probably why you recognize it. Um, I like to play the Sims 2 soundtrack on Spotify during my streams. It's just kind of fun. So that's what it is. <laughs> Make the husky go get you more cookies. I think the husky should be forced to bake you fresh cookies tonight. After what you've been through. You almost called it the Stardew soundtrack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's taken over your life, Tilly. <laughs> Pets are the cutest freeloaders. Yeah. Look, Snap's earning her keep right now. Show of hands, how many people are only watching the stream because the cat's here? So she's basically, oh my God, my hair is bothering me today. I didn't like do anything to my hair in the front and now it's like in my face. Um, she's earning her keep though. Look, she's gotta pay for the surgery somehow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it is kind of fun that she's hanging out with us though. You didn't even see her? Yeah, she's she's sitting by me. She's right there and she's on the cat cam, so. Um, it's a bonus, but I would be here anyway. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Is Snap truly there? <laughs> it's not a fake cat cam, I swear. I swear she's there. Oh, she just looks pitiful. I'm so sorry, little worm. See, she's breathing and she blinked. You can tell. Anyway, if you're just tuning in and you're like alarmed, um, the reason that the, her back half of her is shaved, um, you can't really see the full extent of it, but she had a tumor removed, a cancerous tumor removed on Tuesday, hence the cone um, and why she's trapped in here and why she looks like that because she's on medication <laughs> for her pain <laughs> and she's wearing a cone so she can't take out her stitches. Um, so, there is nothing in Snappy's head right now. No, she's a completely head empty. I, I respect it. She's okay. <laughs> she's doing better, I think. Um, the poll isn't working. The poll is working. Yeah, the polls, they've been really bugged recently on Twitch. We've had a lot of Twitch issues uh, for the past little bit. So, um, anyway, Lauren, Cassandra, Lola, thank you for the subs. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Well, we have to get this uh, mixology skill maxed. We're only level six, uh oh. Polls only work for you on desktop? Oh, really? I guess that makes sense. I mean, you can tell that the polls have been really bugged because they've been getting so many less votes than they used to. 
Um, you can tell that like just less people have the ability to press the button because it like doesn't work when they try, so. I envy her head empty. I really would like that. This is my brother Slime! Oh my gosh, I've not seen Slime in a while. You can definitely come over. This is my Sims dad, I probably should talk to you too. Um, tell a funny story. Express admiration. Yeah, the way she has just one eye closed too. <laughs> just so silly. Has he met the grandkids? I don't know. I guess he'll still be here when they get home from school. I'm not joining the gardening career. Why would you even offer that? I just saw Miv start Stardew, really? <laughs> She's got the game open. She's gonna farm again. Okay, hug lovingly. We haven't really seen slime that much. So the lore of this, you might be wondering, wow, how does Moss have an alien brother? Well, I'll show you. So Moss's mom, Princess, she was our previous gen heir. She was fantastic. Princess Peach, Peach Gen. She was married to this guy, Lincoln Morgan. We met him at work. He was a cop. First red flag. But we were a cop too, but only because we had to be. Um, <laughs> and then they, they got married. They had three kids together. Obviously we had Pickle, we had Algae, and we had Moss. Um, and then Lincoln got pregnant. And the thing is, we thought nothing of that. We thought, oh, it's the Sims. I mean, I have random Sims get pregnant all the time. It's perfectly normal, nothing to see here. All is well. And then the kid was green and we thought, oh, that's fine. It's not so berry. The next gen is green. Like, of course the kid's gonna be green. It's, that's just how it works in this universe. Well, no. Turns out he was cheating on princess with an alien. So he got pregnant, not once, but twice with this alien. So that's Polly Nation. Um, he had an alien baby with her twice. And then Polly, get this, she comes to Earth and she tries to infiltrate our family. She goes to live with Princess's brother's family because she's like, we're family friends. He's an astronaut. I know him. He's, I'm staying in his house right now. And then she comes here so she can try and ruin Princess's life, right? She's doing the whole thing on purpose. She knows what she's done. So does stupid Lincoln. Um, well... <laughs> When Princess finds out that she's been cheated on, she was so upset that she literally died of anger. Not by any interference on my part. She literally died of anger. Not by me. She did. Because she caught him cheating on her. She was so upset that she died. So then, basically, it was Lincoln's fault that our mom died. So the three kids, they were only... Moss was a teen. I think that our brother Algy was a teen. But I'm pretty sure that Pickle was only a child. I don't remember. But we had to raise the three of us kind of on our own because we didn't want to be around Lincoln because we blamed him for our mother's death and he was out there raising his little other alien kids by himself. So we have Slime and Pesto are also our siblings but we don't like live with them um, and we're not that close to them but we've been working on him. We've been working on him. So <laughs> that's what happened. That's who this person is. Lincoln died of old age. He didn't get unlucky or anything. He lived a full life after he killed his wife. So, oh, did you just, oh my God, she almost fell. Snappy, you need to walk carefully. Oh, <laughs> she literally almost fell into the camera. She got down, she walked down the stairs. Oh my God, it's the gabapentin. She actually cannot function on this. She needs, like, permanent supervision. Little worm. Now she's coming over here. I, I will put you up on my desk if you want to be, but you have to stay put. Is that okay? You're gonna have to be babysat. <laughs> Poor Snappy. You literally gasped. Yeah, well, at least she was on the stairs, so she wouldn't have gotten hurt, I don't think. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, you're not really feeling your best right now, Miss Worm. This is new for us the past couple days because um, she didn't have any gabapentin until today. She's on something else as her main pain medication, but I didn't think it was enough, so I asked them for more because she seemed like she was in pain last night. Long story short, she took the first gabapentin about three hours ago. Gabapentin, sorry. 
She just took it like three hours ago before I went live, so. She's... Feeling it. <laughs> no, the other medicine that she's on, let me see if I can find it. Um, I know I sent the name of it to my friend Hope. I have it downstairs, I just can't remember. Um, it's buprenorphine. Buprenorphine. And she has a little syringe of it. I'm gonna give her some every 12 hours. Isn't that right, Snappy? There you go. <laughs> Yeah, humans take avapentin too. You want up, Snappy? Okay, come here. You can come onto my lap, but you have to stay on my lap, all right? If you're gonna do that. We sit together. Okay. Um, yes, Tilly. That would be, that would be the one. Okay, you want on the desk too? Okay. I'm like spotting her. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, she's now rubbing against my arm. That's very cute, Snappy, thank you. Um, yeah, YouTube, I, they, a lot of beds that uh, animals get given, they also give to humans. Um, it's not that uncommon. And she's on some pretty heavy stuff. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, but she literally has an incision like this big on her back. Um, so, <laughs> she's going through it. <laughs> She's, um, she's, I, I'm glad that she's on some, some, like, heavier stuff, because, yikes. Um, she had a cancerous tumor removed on Tuesday, Melissa, um, so that's why she's on it, and why she has the incision. Um, okay, would you like to go and write a scientific paper for work, please? Thank you. Um... Yeah, and both meds make her drowsy, Erica, but this, the gabapentin is what makes her wobbly. <laughs> I know, because of the last time she was on it. Um, the, she, I don't trust her to get up and down off things when she's on this medication. She's, like, wobbly and will fall. Um, so. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> she's, the other one makes her sleepy. Uh, it's kind of like a sedative. This one just makes her wobbly. <laughs> um, well, she'll get her stitches out in about two weeks, uh, Tamara. I think with the, with the cancer, they are hopeful that they got all of it. Um, but we're, uh, gonna be doing, like, some more scans and stuff, but she should be hopefully good to go, um, with this one. So, yeah, and I bet, yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, sorry to keep talking about it. It's just kind of taking over my life right now. And of course she's in here, so it comes up. <laughs> Percy, Meg, Cheeky, Soda, Space Boy, Big Mac, thanks for the subs. Cancer free snap, right? I'm choosing to believe that one. I'm choosing to believe it. Okay, the kids are home. You should come meet your grandpa because, um, he's going to die, probably. So it would be good if you knew him. This is, um, Elphaba's dad. So, come on. Everyone come inside and talk to him. Kids, call your grandfather. Say hi to him. <laughs> it's like real life. <laughs> um, the kittens were born probably in June, Dara. Um, so they are also getting kind of close to a year old. They're getting up there. Cheesecake, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Um, uh, yeah, Jaybird, depending on the kind of cancer, um, like, so with SNAP, um, hers, she had a tumor, so that, like, surgically it can be removed. Um, so there's different treatments depending on the kind of cancer, just like there are for humans. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I, my family, I don't think that we would put... Uh, like our cat, or sorry, our other cat, Pogi, who passed away a few months ago from cancer, we did not put him on chemo on purpose. The option is there, but the vet was like, maybe he will live six more months with the chemo. Um, and the problem is the chemo makes them extremely sick. Um, and so you kind of have to balance like what is worth it for like 
quality of life for the animal, um, which is different for everybody and what they feel like. Um, I know that my dad, after like, because my dad has been on chemo for like literally 10 years, um, he doesn't really have a desire to put an animal through that um, because of how bad it's been for him. He like doesn't want to make an animal have to, to experience that. Um, and the poor animal has no idea what's going on. Like it's so rough on them and they don't understand it. At least with people, like you can be explained what to expect and you can be walked through symptoms and you can talk about your symptoms and get treated for them. With pets, it's kind of like a guessing game. So I don't know. I'm sorry to talk about that, but um, it really depends on the animal and the situation, but uh, there is chemo for animals. They can do that. Um, it's just hard to make that decision because you don't want to like intentionally put them through suffering if it's not going to uh, extend their life or like improve their quality of life, you know? Um, I'm sorry about the raid coming in, by the way. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> it's come up a lot because my cat is currently on my desk. She had a surgery a couple days ago, so... Um, that's really good, Owen. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I'm really glad to hear that. That's a huge relief to me. Um, that is a huge relief to me that she's doing well with it, so. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, rough topic. Very, uh, personal and, and situation-specific decision to make, so. Okay, well, kids, would you care to go... I want you to keep working on learning to ride your bike, if you could. I don't even know where your bike went. You might have lost it. No, you didn't. Okay. I want to practice riding it so that way we can get your aspiration done. And then channel surf, yeah? Um, the toddlers don't have bikes in Growing Together, but children do Unbreakable. So the, the kid's on a bike now, but the toddlers didn't get bikes. They're too little for that. Are those kids aliens? No, they're just blue. They're spellcasters. Their mom is named Elphaba, and she's a green spellcaster. If you're kind of catching <laughs> the reference. Um, but yeah, she's, that's why. She's a green spellcaster. Um, oh, that's really good uh, uh, that she was okay with it, yo. I'm glad, um, I'm glad that you're able to do that and that it was okay for her for a while. Um, yeah, it's just hard, but. Anyway, yeah, Maddie, I've seen a lot of the, like, not so berry variants that people have made. It's kind of cool that so many people have, like, taken it and run with it and, like, made new things with it, you know? I find that really special. Okay, I'm gonna try and make sure everybody's needs are okay. And I might play the rest of today, and then I might head out from stream tonight, because I think I should probably go take Snappy downstairs and feed her dinner and stuff. Um, but I appreciate you all hanging out. It's been fun. <laughs> Yeah, Tangerine it is. Isn't that kind of funny? Um, oh, and also, that's a good point, Christine. <laughs> In case you all didn't know, they're currently giving out the Backyard Stuff Pack for free until April 13th. So just in case you missed it somehow, and this is your first ch time hearing about this, um, you can buy the Backyard Stuff Pack for free, like buy it for $0 and have it forever until April 13th. So if you haven't heard and you haven't gotten it yet, um, like put a reminder in your phone for when you get home. Uh-oh. Who called? Oh no, that's Elphaba's other dad. This one's about to die then, the one who is just here. Um, but yeah, make sure you grab it now. If you have your PC open or something, it's on console too. Um, but literally go sign in and claim it right now so you don't forget and you don't miss out. Um, I would hate for you to like miss the opportunity to get it for free, you know, if you can get it right now, go do it. <laughs> I really mean that. I keep trying to say it so you remember, um, but it's free. So you can get a $10 stuff pack. Um, we've heard that there's going to be a kit for free at some point, but they haven't said when. I expect that it will be after the stuff pack is done being free. Um, I don't think that they'll do it at the same time, so. I would guess it would be afterward. Sometime in the next couple weeks, but probably like after this, because this one finishes on April 13th, so. When's but two gonna be free? You know, I don't know if they are ever allowed to make that one free. I'm sure that there's probably some weird licensing thing um, where they aren't allowed to give out that one for free because of the Star Wars situation. I don't know if Disney or Star Wars would allow that. I feel like there's probably something something in there with that one where they can't do that. 
I'm not sure how it works. I don't know what their contract is, but that one, that would make sense to me. Um, wonder why they're doing it. I, I think this is the analogy that I gave on stream. You know, when like someone gives you a cookie and you're like, oh man, I want another cookie. That was really good. I think that the stuff pack for free, it's like a, they're giving you a cookie. Cause you're like, oh, that's a fun pack. I like having packs. I want another pack. Um, and it, it gives you like more desire to buy the rest of them. Now you want a cookie, see? Um, but also it's kind of like a, a gesture of goodwill to the community. Like, hey, look, we're giving you a free pack. Do you like this? <laughs> um, so I, I think that's probably both of it. Um, at this point, it's an old pack. It's probably not one of their best selling packs. So it's not like a huge loss to give it out for free temporarily. Um, Cause people are buying their newer packs more often and like their better packs more often. Um, so I, I think that it's, just a win for everybody in that way. Um, it's kind of similar, not really the same thing, but it's like, why are they giving out the Sims 4 base game for free now? Well, it includes so many new players that will then buy their packs. <laughs> um, so it's just a, a way to try and like encourage people to, to pick the game back up again. Cause another thing is like, a lot of people play the Sims kind of um, in waves. Like how many of you haven't played Sims in weeks? And when you do, you're gonna play it all weekend and then not pick it up again for a while. Right? Like a lot, of people, a lot of people play The Sims that way. So when they give you out a free pack, it's like a way to draw you back in. Where you're like, oh my God, I got this new thing. I'm gonna play for a while, you know? So it, I think it benefits in that way too. Cause then you might wanna buy more packs cause you're back in your Sims era. So it seems weird, but I think it makes sense. I think it's a good marketing tactic for them and for a lot of reasons. Um, Googling how to get a cookie at 1am. <laughs> Everybody wants a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Um, but that's why I think they're doing that. Interestingly, the Blooming Rooms kit is supposed to be free next in a couple of weeks. Again, we don't know when yet. Um, but that one, I, I don't think is one of their worst selling kits. So that theory of like them giving out the like, the lesser popular kits for free doesn't really check out with the Blooming Rooms kit. So it's interesting, but it's still like, it's still a kit to give you for free and might entice you to play some more. Um, but waiting for Crystal Creations to be on sale right now. Yeah, that'll be fun. Probably a way to go still, but it'll be fun when it is. Okay. They had to give something for forcing the EA app on everyone. <laughs> Maybe that a little bit too. <laughs> Maybe that a little bit too, for sure. Looming Rooms is the only one you've bought? Really? That's so interesting. I always like to know what kind of kits entice people. Can you stop crying? I know your dad died, but like, relax, you know? It's interesting to me to hear about which ones they that people get excited about. Um, the Desert Lux kit was free. Yeah, that was one of the first times they had a free pack. Um, that one was same thing, like a, a goodwill thing for the community because they were making the base game free. So they made the Desert Lux kit free until the day the base game went free. So it was like, hey, longtime Sims players, we know you bought the base game, so we're giving you this pack for free um, up until the day the base game goes free. Um, so if you played the Sims back then, a couple years ago when it went free, then you got the Desert Lux kit for free because of that. Which is actually a fun pack because it has some really nice curtains. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a good one. Oh no, you are very tired. Why aren't you going to sleep in your bed? Oh, cause I had your sibling sleep in the wrong bed. Sorry, you had no bed. That's my bad. Go up, you're okay. Come on. Yeah, and Blooming Rooms is gonna be free because the Mac users are gonna be forced to switch to the EA app. They're killing Origin for real soon. And we're getting the EA app switch. Um, so they're giving out Blooming Rooms for free. Yeah, Desert Lux, I, I can see that, Loretta. It, it might not be a pack that you would like buy as your first pick. Um, it's a nice pack, but it's like, I don't know about you all, but if I were to pick out just one build pack, I probably wouldn't pick an outdoor furniture pack. I, I think for me, if I was gonna pick just one, I would pick a kitchen thing or a bedroom thing, you know? So I can see why Desert Lux might not be one that you would have bought, but it's still fun to have for free. Um, but it might not be your like first choice, you know? 
I would always pick like big kitchen stuff over that. Although Desert Lux has a really nice couch and some really nice curtains. So that's a, that's a win for it too. Um, I do use those things a fair bit, so. All right, well, everyone's going to bed. I'm probably gonna get off stream here in a few minutes-ish. Um, I wanted to get through the rest of the night so that when we load up next time it's open. I'm glad the game stopped lagging. I'm glad that my PC stopped lagging too because we were having some internet problems, but um, it seems like things have kind of improved. So as far as the stream schedule goes, tomorrow I'm gonna be live at this time again. We're gonna do some building in The Sims. And then I have kind of a weird stream schedule on Saturday because on Saturday evening, at like this exact time, there's actually a gala happening for Able Gamers, which is a charity I fundraise for quite a bit on Twitch. Um, they're a charity that helps to improve accessibility in video gaming, but they're doing a charity gala, a virtual one, which is so cool because it's more accessible this way, but also then anybody can go. And it, it kind of, they built like a custom world for it, right? On this website that's kind of like, imagine if you're playing Stardew Valley, but it's Zoom. So you can like, they have like an event space where there's a stage and like a, a bar and like a caricature artist and a games room and you can go around and you can literally go play retro games in the games room. You can go to the caricature artist and they've got like a real person there on Zoom basically who will literally draw you a caricature. At the bar, they hired real bartenders who are doing like drink tutorials. Um, so you can go like get a drink or like learn how to make some special drink. Um, it's, it's really fun. It's a really special way to host a virtual event. Um, and they're selling tickets for it to fundraise for Able Gamers. So if you want to come to that, anybody can buy a ticket. I will be there. We can literally talk to each other at it. <laughs> um, you can like run around and actually meet people and like hang out and talk and stuff. Um, I can link the information into the chat for you. I put it in the Discord too. Um, the dollhouse is broken. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> Uh, but this is the information about that gala, the gala. That, so that's on Saturday. So I'm gonna stream before the gala and then leave to go to it. Um, but that's happening this weekend. So I know it like it can be kind of expensive. It's like twenty five dollars something for the ticket, but um, it's a charity fundraiser, so that's why they're selling the tickets. If you use code Lil Simsy, you'll get ten percent off. They did do that, um, but. I hope that it goes well. I think both for like the charity's benefit, but also if it goes well, it's like an additional proof of concept because then they can get more sponsors and things for future events. So it's like fingers crossed. <laughs> it was really fun last year. Um, it was pretty cool. I, I just think it's such a fun and impressive idea to like, host something like this because obviously um, for a lot of folks, like like a lot of disabled folks that would benefit from Able Gamers, they can't really attend a gala like this in real life always. And obviously with like the internet, we all live so far apart, we couldn't do it in real life anyway. Like there's so many reasons where like a, a physical in-person event is not feasible, but to like make a special event and like make it really cool and, and like really build out a cool virtual space for it is just really fun. <laughs> like I just, I love the concept of that. I think it's a really cool idea and I, I'm hopeful it'll go well again. So anyway, that's on Saturday. Um, so we'll stream before then. I, I posted the stream schedule in the Discord so it has some more info. Um, and it kind of uh, has like the t date and times correct for you too. Um, but let's go now and maybe find somebody to raid. I'll let it keep running for a bit longer too. Then I gotta go feed my cat. <laughs> um, I don't actually know how much longer Dan is going to be live for, but I never raid Dan because he's usually live at the same time as me. Maybe I'll go raid Dan just to see. Um, let me type. I can't reach my keyboard that easily because of snap. Oh, I spelled raid wrong. Okay, that's not gonna help. Raid Duck Dan. <laughs> okay, well, thank you all for hanging out. A lot of you probably know Dan. I am literally married to him, but in case you don't, he's playing some Stardew Valley. I don't know how long he'll be live for, but we can still go over and say hi. Um, have a wonderful rest of your night. Happy Thursday, and I will catch you all tomorrow. We'll do some building in The Sims, yeah? Okay, see you all later. Thank you, love you, miss you, bye.